Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Xbox Nation. It is 8 p.m. on the dot. We are exactly a six days away from the Xbox One X, and uh, we got a hell of a show lined up for you guys. There's a lot of cool stuff to talk about, some breaking news, some some 4K uh, gaming stuff happening. Uh, hey, but first, let me always introduce the uh, the man himself, uh, Mooch. What's up, buddy? Uh, What's going you, on? You were here early today. <laughs> I was early. I don't know. It's, I feel a little out of my, uh, my own uh, comfort zone here. It's, uh, I don't know, just ahead of schedule. Everything felt good. Got the uh, mixed drink. We got drinks ready to go. It's, 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 what is this? This is our week, right? This is yeah. our time. I don't know it about you guys. Our time. That's right. I, I threw a half, uh, what is it, a half dollar down the fucking well for Chester Copper Pot to pick <laughs> up, all right? I've been waiting a long time for this shit. So, uh, no, hey. it's a good week, bro. <laughs> Mooch is already out there, man. He's slinging F words. He's slinging F oh. words. He's. He's Sorry about, about that. It. By the oh, way, guys, just so everybody knows, it doesn't F words, S words, N, D words, L words, L K's. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, crap's always worried about YouTube hurting them. YouTube's I'm, not gonna hurt you. I'm, I'm not. I'm. I'm not, man. I'm. I'm good. They I'm love good. you. I, no, <laughs> nobody loves crap gamers. <laughs> you are loved by you all, crap. No, hey, hey, I am. <laughs> I'm, loved, I'm, I'm like the, one of the most hated on people ever. I have like a small uh, circle because nobody likes me. But uh, hey, there's a person that likes me. I assume dealer. What's up? <laughs> You notice he said, I assume. <laughs> what a, you're such a fuck face. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a good show today. Uh, welcome to Xbox Nation, everybody. The best podcast on a Wednesday at approximately 8 p.m. Eastern uh, Standard Time. On Crab uh, Gamers Channel. On Crab Gamers Channel with approximately however many people are watching at this given time. Uh, that also has Colt Eastwood on it at the same time. Um, you know, yeah, welcome to the show. And, and like I said, hit that like button. We got a lot of good topics today. Oh, yeah. And we've got uh, the man himself, Hellhammer. Uh, what, what's up, brother? Not much. Just uh, ready to talk about this Xbox One X. This thing's awesome. Yeah. Oh, we, Hellhammer actually wants to talk about the X. It's mm. awesome. For a a lot of people are seeing that now, huh? It's good. Yeah. That's it. Look, Hellhammer's flip flopped a little bit. That's, that's good to see. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, I decided not to troll so much today. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, subbing for Noof Newcomb, Colt Eastwood. What's up, Colt? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Um, I'm excited because uh, I've spent like two years playing on PC, and uh, as weird as it sounds, it's I'm ready to go back to the Xbox. So it's yeah. been really awesome. I cannot wait. I cannot Fraud wait. alert. Colt Eastwood's been playing on PC, guys. That's, By myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on By myself. You say it's lonelier than the PS4 because oh. I've heard heard uh you know it's, it's it can get quite lonely right oh. yeah nope <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Um, give, me, give me that soup baby give me yeah. that soup oh i i hear you man that the soup is is delicious i just it looks like shit that's all you know uh yeah so here we go let's let's jump into some of these topics which i forgot to send to you guys oddly enough so we'll just, have to kind of just go with it um sony they're switching to monthly active users uh, instead of console sales, at least that's what they're saying. They're very much uh, saying that monthly active users is a much better way to kind of judge who's <laughs> using PlayStation 4s. And what's funny about this is uh, Microsoft, Phil Spencer said this over a year ago. He said, you know, giving people console sales is not giving people a complete picture. It's, it's not doing us any good. Uh, if, if and that was damage control, control back then, right? Yeah, it was. It was complete damage control, right? Phil Spencer obviously damage controlling because he made perfect sense when he said this, right? He goes, I remember that, yeah. He goes, people could be buying our console and then they put it in their closet and it's collecting dust. That's not doing anybody any good. That's not an accurate representation of what we're doing. So, Sony now, uh, Andrew House not there. So, now they're talking about using MAUs, monthly active users, as the more important way. And I've said this a long time. They could have 200 million consoles sold and I won't believe that there's that many active users because if you look at their last time they did PlayStation Plus numbers, it was like 20 million or 21 million, out of, and they had like triple that or something. You know what I mean? So it makes sense that they do that, but it's going to seem significantly uh, less than what it than what it was. Hey, crap! They they so, were saying like yeah. 62 million sold, and then they switched switched to 67.5 million shipped. Uh, I want to ask the panel how many consoles they think are sitting in stores across the planet how many ps4s oh think man. about that 
Think about that. When we talk about the difference between shipped and sold, there, you know, like my Walmart has like four or five PS4s sitting behind that glass case locked up, you know. That's one that's one store. I've two Walmarts and where I live, you know. Just think about that. How many of those that difference between sold and shipped is there when Sony's saying shipped right now, which they shouldn't say shipped. They've sold so many consoles, they should be very proud of saying sold and just leave it at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, hey, they I, I agree. Sell slump. If you notice, they did it around the Pro uh, when it was launching as well. Nobody's buying a PS4 because they want to know what the Pro is all about. Comes to find out that it's that it's uh, getting crushed in games like The Witcher 3 and others. It's kind of phenomenal. We're going to talk more about that later. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's interesting, right, because they will go back and forth, and it's, it's acceptable one month, and then the next it's not. And now they're going to monthly active users, which, like Crap said, Phil said something about this a year ago, but oh, it was damage yeah. control then. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's 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 very interesting. They're also doing some other weird things. We're gonna talk yeah, about. which I have I have all that stuff right. Like I have all that stuff like written down, um, kind of ready to. We're gonna talk about it, but I wanted to do kind of one at a time. Um, yeah. Like like Mooch, what is your thoughts on this? Like the monthly active users. Remember everybody kind of poked fun. Even right. even I kind of joked about it, right? And I'm like I'm like good news Xbox fans. Uh, Microsoft announced today that you know 25 percent of Xbox Live <laughs> are users drinking milk while they are play drinking video milk games. and eating a ham sandwich yeah. while playing a video game. That's well, awesome. listen. <laughs> you know, and that was a great joke. And uh, to be honest with you, it was it was kind of ridiculous when Xbox was doing it alone. Here's the thing, crap. Now you see everything coming. Everything's coming very clear now. It's like you're staring at that 3D puzzle from far away, and you're like, I, I just don't see the picture. It's not coming through. And it's finally happening now. Somebody handed you those They Live glasses. What Phil's been saying over the course of the past 12 to 18 months is starting to all come true, and that is consoles. And I, I said this a long time ago, too. I, I, everybody always says, I said, I said. And then people are like, oh, yeah, sure. I mean, I said this years ago. It, it doesn't matter. Console sales is, is a static number, folks. Okay, so you take home a $400 console. That means, let's say the gaming, we saw the numbers that were broken down early on, right? That means that the, the actual platformers were making somewhere between $20 and $50 a console. And even if I'm off, who cares? $65 a console. You're, you're about right. You're about right. right? And, and my point is they take it home, they make that $65. But at the end of the day, if you're a customer that brought home a PS4, you bought the console and you bought COD, and then you didn't buy another game all the way till the next Call of Duty, you're not Sony's favorite person, okay? You're just not. What they want you to do is they want you to bring the box home. They want you to be extremely active on their online. They want you to start to buy subscriptions. They want you to have EA access. They want you to buy their digital games on there. They want you to be this full-fledged media customer constantly buying and subscribing to them digitally online. That's what they want. Sony wants it too, not just Microsoft. So when Phil and company have been promoting and boosting these big online numbers and we have this many subscribers and Xbox Live is this big and Sony was like, well, we're way behind them, uh, but we sold a lot of boxes. The boxes don't mean anything, folks. They're like toasters. The toaster doesn't do shit without the bread. It doesn't do anything. (laughs) You know, I mean, so, but these guys are like, oh, we got 63 toasters in our, it's a great, that's what it's awesome. We got 63. So, I mean, really what it is, crap, is now things are all starting. It's a huge blow, actually, because if Sony wants to turn their attention now to online subscribers, this is going to hurt them because they're, they're behind the eight ball on my, behind Microsoft, way behind them, I think, personally. I think the numbers are showing. What are the numbers? Are they like they're about 10 million behind? Are they 15 million behind? Are they right neck and Ooh. neck? Uh, and what? like num- uh, As far as PS Plus actual paid versus oh, Xbox Live please, Gold? I, you know what? I have no idea. That's what it comes like, down I've, to, crap. I've tried. Yeah. There's, I, there's no way. You just there's, Those numbers aren't out there. They're not public. Yeah, because, because Microsoft what happened? 360 and X1 uh, live users, you know, not paid and NPC. You know, yeah, yeah. Go. So, so they're like, hey, we're up. Like Microsoft does that. They're like, hey, we're up to this because to them, it's not even so much as being paid. But if you're a user that's using their network, you're likely mm-hmm. buying stuff. So that's probably why that's more important. That like they want to keep you engaged and actively buying games and features on their platform and if you're if you like so buying a console and i've said this a million times means dick to these companies right it's kind of like uh, let me relate it since we're on youtube we can relate it to subscribers you see a lot of people like people the million subscribers and they may only get forty thousand views a video think of it kind of like that where those active subscribers are the ones really helping that uh youtuber and supporting while the other ones just you know that's the console in the closet person they just kind of yeah, run away absolutely. and they come back to it whenever, uh, you know, it's, it's the hardcore people that are counting. Those are the people that fuel that industry. And that's what yeah, makes, ex- that's what makes ex- it grow. Exactly. 
That's what makes yep. it grow. So if the Xbox One X sells really well and becomes a hot ticket item this holiday, that's good for PS4 gamers. That's good for PC gamers. Yeah. That's good for developers. They don't get that. They don't, they don't understand. They don't understand yeah. that it's kind of a symbiont circle. What happens to PlayStation affects Xbox and Nintendo and vice versa all around there. It's like <laughs> all three of those things need to kind of be going good. Um, I'm never one that's like, man, this should be doing bad or whatever. As much as people think I hate PlayStation, I got you know, a ton of PlayStation stuff as well. Um, it's just, to me, I like to point out the hypocrisy. I mean, I understand we're all a little bit of this, but everybody made fun of the monthly active users, and now Sony wants to go to it because it makes <laughs> the most sense for their investors to see that. And Sony, let's be clear here, they're posting record profits and stuff thanks to the PlayStation, right? So, but the problem for Sony also lies in, so, so their earnings rose 346% thanks to PlayStation, according to them. <laughs> Uh, they're set for the best profit since 1998. Good for them. The problem is, is the long-term sustainability of the consoles, uh, basically with the direction they're going. Meaning, like they're they're really a single-player kind of thing, and uh, they're going to need to kind of change a little bit if they want to continue this trend, right? So, games as a service, um, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's very important. Uh, and look, they've already kind of started. Gran Turismo Sport. That's like an online-only game, game kind of as a service type of deal. And Sony's investigating microtransactions for uh, future games as well. This is something that everybody... Some people, there was two kinds of people, right? There was the Sony fans that were like, man, this sucks. Microsoft really made Sony do this. I can't believe this is all Microsoft's fault. I swear to God, this is what I heard. I also heard yeah. this. Sony, oh, they're going to really cure this disease of microtransactions. They won't do anything <laughs> negative like Microsoft does. <laughs> Or EA, and it's going to be good. Their microtransactions will be like real positive and. These and really are the same of- idiots that say Forza has microtransactions. So they're <laughs> yeah. the idiots. They're not worth people's time, and really, uh, there are going to be people that don't. They don't believe that Sony are going into this microtransaction thing, which they are. There's an article out there by Dual Shockers, a Sony mm-hmm. site, where mm-hmm. Sony has confirmed they are uh, going to start incorporating microtransactions to, into pretty much everything when it comes to their games. So. You know, it is what it is, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Future, it's happening. You're getting... It's going to be scary for Sony, though, isn't it, guys? I mean, and this this question is more for, like, a dealer and cult. I mean, Microsoft has spent the better part of this generation and, and much more time before it. We're just unaware of it because we were in the 360 era. But they've been working and building towards this this online like structure for a long time. And a lot of people that were giggling and snickering and laughing three years ago when they're like, oh, Windows 10, that's a joke, and this and that, and that's a joke. But you can see that changes can be made on the fly. Like, they have changed, they can change the UI at a whim's notice. People are writing a request on Monday, and Mike Ibarra is changing it on Wednesday. Uh, people are asking that, I want this thing in 4K. Look, at I mean, things are changing instantly from developer, from a game that came out a year ago. They're able to make the enhancement and have it ready for a launch or, or two months later or a week later. And you know mm-hmm. what, Nooch? A lot, a lot of Nooch. Mooch. A lot of those people, <laughs> hey, a lot of those people uh, doing the snickering, they're yes. PC guys. They're the yes, definition they of always online. They were the guys doing it first. Microsoft yeah. and Sony are late to the party. You know, so, I mean, they're just, they're doing what everyone else is doing and you're getting uh, amazing features as a result. Yeah. And they've been transparent about it. They're basically, you know, Phil Spencer said very upfront that they're focused on software and they they treat the Xbox like a software platform. Right. They want it on, if you want to play on your PC, it's the same game. You want to play on your Xbox, same game. If you want to play on a Surface, same game, same save, same purchase. You know, and that's really good for the industry. And I, I don't know why people just can't see that this is where the console is. The reason why an Xbox One X is five hundred bucks is because they make millions of them and then they sell them. You know, at retail. But it's a software box. It's not like a PC. And a PC gamer friend of mine just gave me this analogy. He goes, "You, you can't keep comparing Colt. You can't keep comparing a PC to an Xbox. It's not the same thing. People build a PC on their own and they put the parts together, and, and it's more expensive, but they, they do so many things with the PC. A console is a box made to push software. The console pushes Netflix and Hulu subscriptions. It pushes right. uh, music subscriptions now. It's pushing uh, online gaming. You've got the online service like Xbox Pass and EA Access and all these things, that uh, some of these things which you can't get on a PC. And that's what's so great. Uh, for 500 bucks, look at all the stuff you're getting. Don't tell me there's no reason. It's normalizing digital purchases, and it's pushing people forward that way as well. Mm -hmm. You know, like digital a few years ago was, oh, my God, I'll never do that. And everyone's doing it now, right? So things change. 
It is, and, and, it, and it's weird. And I know people, this is mostly an Xbox podcast, but uh, excuse me, Sony actually had some news this week, so we got to cover some of this stuff. Uh, literally, you can check past podcasts. We hardly talk about Sony. It's going to be one where they did you know, a show. They had their announcement of units sold and stuff like that. Um, I kind of want to go around. I kind of gave my thoughts on their Paris game w- Games Week. Uh, not incredibly popular, mind you, my take. Uh, it was good to get back Alex on a video, I have to say that. Uh, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. So, like, the Sony fans clearly didn't agree with my take on it, but I do have to say that Sony showed the same stuff for a couple of V3s. There was that new Samurai game from Sucker Punch, which I said Sucker Punch would show off their new game. That literally doesn't appeal to me at all. An- another well, infamous well, would have appealed crap, to me crap, way, and, way I, more. And listen, I know you got a shtick here, and I just, I just want to <laughs> intervene here. I, I, I understand where you're coming from, uh, but here's the thing. You got to understand, I, I think your point's valid, but it's it's not valid. But at the same time, I'm going to defend it. That's right. That was a mystery wrapped in a puzzle. <laughs> wrapped in a she does this stuff just to do it sometimes. <laughs> no, listen, no, guys, here's the, the thing. Crap saying a, a podcast. It man. is, it is, it is this. Dealer, you take a nap while I do it. Listen, here's the thing. Real quick. Um, no, the problem is, is that Crap says he doesn't like it. Well, it's hard for him to say he doesn't like it because he didn't see any gameplay. How can he say he doesn't like it right now? That's where I'm kind of going against you there. Where, where, okay. where you're right and you hold a valid point is that people are also screaming they can't wait and they love it. Now everyone's buying Sucker Punch t-shirts. And we I'm see, not coming we, around for that. We didn't see any gameplay. <laughs> so my point is, is that it, it's it, it, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. You can't sit here and tell me you're excited for that game. To me, it looks like an open world Neho. But that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It, it was just basically, you know what? It looked like a Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah, well, some violence. CGI in engine or whatever you want to call it. Um, I will say this. If people are pressuring me, if they're like, hey, crap, wasn't there anything you enjoyed? I'll tell you what I enjoyed <laughs> was the fact that Sony has, uh, they're pushing that gory adult themed, they'll cuss in the trailer type of thing, right? The violence. I, Shit that's for adults. Perfect. Yes, right? I, if, if you had to say, was there anything you like, crap, that would be it. And they took a little bit of flack for that, and I'm glad Sony said, hey, we're leaving it up to our developers to do what they want to do. It's make-believe anyway. It's video games, right? Just like TV, just like movies, it's all make-believe. It's so like a Red Band trailer, right? Exactly. You know what I mean? So I do give them props for that. Good for them. Uh, you know, they showed off some stuff. It was like some CGI stuff from The Last of Us 2. Uh, that was kind of predictable. Spider-Man looked a little worse to me. God of War still looked great. I'm, I'm going to get it. Uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly. <clears throat> like Spider-Man and God of War, two games I'm gonna get. But mark my words, because they had no like early or late 2018 on Spider-Man. If that's supposed to come out late 2018, I would almost guarantee so, that gets delayed into spring 2019. So Spider-Man looked worse, but you can't wait to get it. Please explain. Oh no! Well, no, oh, no. you know, <laughs> oh, it's just the trailer. Okay. The trailer. Wasn't yeah, it's just a tra- the trailer wasn't very good. But but it's still. I mean, the game's gonna Insomniac does good work. You know, I have to be honest, I know Mooch doesn't believe me, but listen, I liked Resistance games, I've liked Ratchet and Clank games, I like the Spyro games that they did. I, I like liked... Big Macs, I like Double Quarter Pounders with Cheese, <laughs> and I hated to McArch Deluxe. So listen, uh, I, that doesn't mean anything. My point is, that I, my, this is not to do with Insomniac, this is not a, this is not a report card on Insomniac. Insomniac is totally, uh, the last three podcasts I've done, I've not, nothing but praised them. My point with Insom- this game is, this game looks like every other Spider-Man game. It's another boring game of Spider-Man. And it's like everyone's just buying it because they like having the comic you get to books. Play Mary Jane. Great. That, that's even worse. And you know, I mean, I, I just I, I don't I don't understand. I, listen, if you like the game for what it is and you can't wait to hit like triangle and square a bunch of times, go for it. And I'm not gonna stop you. I am not. I say go out there and buy it day one. But if you think this game's better than the other 18 that failed. Then you're wrong. It, then it's how, not, how, I, mean, I don't it's understand. Not I don't even understand how somebody can pretend to know that it's not out yet. It's not out yet. You seen like 85 minutes of footage already. How many much more time? So, so to from make? what you saw in gameplay, you think it's going to be a bad game? I think it's going to be a boring game. Not a bad game. It's going to look nice. It's going to look like a great Saturday morning cartoon you can control with square and triangle and circle. I buy it. But you could use that same. I know you guys are going to buy it. That's fine. This isn't to talk to. This isn't let's talk the panel out of it tonight. Um, <laughs> you could use that same. You could use that same argument for pretty much any game, though, right? You could be yeah. like, this no, shooter, no, the, this I check, looks boring. So last I check, Call of Duty. Last I check, Call of Duty isn't like before you kill Colt. 
press triangle. Um, no, um, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, one of your favorite games is The Last of Us, right? I do. Uh, I like The Last of Us. It's a much yeah. slower game in every single way. Yes, but it doesn't ask me to, like, you know, press square twice if I want to save Joel. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, there's actually, like, I have to act or I die. In this case, it's like, it's just chasing your... I mean, Listen, all of them are sweet looking at the Arkham games, you know? It's going to be familiar, but it's Spider-Man. Who gives a shit? It's not I think the Arkham yet. games are way better, and I think you'd agree it, with yeah, that. Yeah, I played it, so that's what I'm saying. It, yeah, but just, I mean, how many... Big dealer, here's the thing. Listen, everybody here has got a channel. Everybody's getting on every day talking about games. How many games... How many times do you have to play a game like that to say, don't knock it till you try it? We've oh, tried God. it! You have Dude, not tried it. We've tried a million games like it. Come on. Dude, stop, Spider -Man, stop. Spider -Man, stop. Stop it. Spider Man's not out there to save the PS4. The PS4 no, has I know. great games. Like It's this just not, one of many $60 games that a lot of people are going to buy, and it's probably going to be you know, great. This I has guess. absolutely nothing to do with the PS4 at all. I would say the same thing if it was on Xbox. I, I personally just think that it's, it's a boring. You can't sit there. Crap did a whole video the other day bashing Detroit. <laughs> and now he's telling me I can't wait to play Spider-Man. Oh, Why? No, I, I didn't do a whole video bashing Detroit. That was a whole video bashing their Paris Gamescom because it was crap in my You opinion. said Detroit looks terrible, boring. Look terrible. Okay, but it you can't wait cool. to, to do three action swing scenes I'm... and then do the same thing Detroit asks? <laughs> Come on. I trust That's what I'm saying. Like, I trust I trust easier. Boring's I... a little easier to pick out of a trailer, though. Spider-Man does not look boring from the gameplay we've seen. That's one thing. You You're just – here's the thing. I think a lot of people – and this, this is my claim on this game, okay? A lot of people are just – Really, really amped because they like Spider Man, and that's fine. I don't give it's a shit. Fine. About Spider -Man. I'm just saying, no one's played it, so you can't just say it's going to be trash. We've, we've played 18 other Spider Man games. Who cares? We've played 18 other racing games. Not all of them are the same. They, they, but they are the same, no, actually. The same. They really are. Yes, they that's are. They're better in a pretty much every racing <laughs> what, what, Root, you're, you're you're not the same. Same. Every you're racing game game is pretty much the same. And, and, if, and that's fine. You might give your analogy <laughs> that way. But, like, no, but there's people right now on IGN that are like, come on, GT Sport, just as good as Forza. They're saying it. So, I mean, you might you disagree with them, but they're no, saying everything's I mean, overall, basically the same. Saying it. That's why it's like a 74 and not an 86. So and 74 no. is not what – that's not what uh, IGN gave it. IGN gave it a 75, Mooch. Well, there you go. It's not 74. Well, there was... There was, <laughs> there was <some> <laughs> He's like, I'll take it. I, all right, I'll, I'll take a point. This. I win both showcase showdowns. No, my point is, is that... <laughs> I, I'm just saying, this is Spider-Man. You, you want to jump to another game and say, it's like this, it's like that. It's a QTE, it's a, it's a, it's a QTE game with Spider-Man tactics. Swing from building to building and then fight someone on the rooftop and then hit a, Q, a QTE. It is what it is. You can't say, well, don't knock it. You haven't tried it. We've played this type of game a million times. And well, if you're on these channels about, saying that QTs you've played games for... How many QTEs did we see in that trailer? There was, there was a sequence... Half, the half of the trailer was, falling, was QTEs. There was a sequence where the helicopter was falling, but the normal combat is not a QTE. I think it's more like Arkham. One of the main reasons whenever... And you guys can rewind and watch all the Xbox Nations you want. When Craps asked it the past two weeks, what game would you like to see Microsoft make again? Just so I can prove my point. My point is that I never say Rise because Rise was too many QTEs for me. Like, that mm -hmm. was a me problem, right? I don't like that. So, yeah. like, I'm just saying, this is a but every the person panel. you took down was a QTE in Rise, or it was actually optional. But in this game, it is not that way. It was a it was a little set piece that was a QTE. Most most of them, though. So yeah, I'm not saying there were none. There were a few, but it's not like it's not like Rise. But it's, well, okay, so it's not like Rise. No, but remember when he was on that? He's perched on that one like rail, and he's looking down. And there's that enemy walking by, and it goes. It like it emphasizes to press like the button. You press the button, it squirts out the the web, and when it does that, it slams the guy across the way. It's the same thing. Like that's my yeah. So it, that that's the same thing as a QTE. I guess so it's we'll just, just a one we'll see how it push. does. I mean, I'm gonna at the very least rent it, be done with it in ten hours. And and then we can give an actual. Well, there you go. I mean, I'll, I'll, hey, well, that that's you know actually what? that's the way to look at it. Actually, dealer, I agree with you there. That's a great Rent point it. because I, I was saying that I was saying this earlier too, which was um, one thing that's also kind of interesting about Sony's games is a lot of them are red box <laughs> worthy. You know what I mean? You yeah. just kind of uh, you just kind of red box them and and beat them, and you only spend you know whatever it is three or six bucks for the weekend. Right. So that's why, have, have, that's why you have multiplayer in Uncharted 4. That exact yeah, reason, you know. So. Exactly. And that's why you'll probably, I don't think they're doing multiplayer with that, but uh, no, hey guys, listen, 
Nobody dislikes each other. People take different states. It's okay. We've done this a Why? million times. Oh, we're yeah, no, we're, <laughs> well, you can tell who's new to the channel just to troll yeah. then, right, guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like, come on. It's, it's, it's really. It's, it's not a big deal. Like, Mooch, we're entertaining you. You should be yes. happy. Hey, Mooch has one hundred percent. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll all the time tell you how much I hate The Last of Us, and Pete Mooch right. will get me like, "No, grab it's great." Right. And I'm like, "No, man, I, I don't like the game personally." But see, we all have different opinions and tastes, and that's what makes it entertaining and fun. Uh, yeah. But like. Like, Mooch, what was your thoughts of the games week? Because, you know, every time Sony does one of these things, a lot of Xbox fans freak out. Uh, well, 343 better be on something that's not Halo. Uh, I mean, that's, that, it's Forget getting old, right? It, something that's not Gears. Yeah. yeah, just before the, but just before the whole Paris uh, Games Week thing picked, kicked off, at least this time, at least we were all calling it in the Xbox community. We're like, hey, five, four, three, two, who's going to start crying first that we don't have any single player games? Um, <laughs> it was nice to see that for once because at least like the joke is up, the, the jig is up. Um, here's the thing I don't know. I'm, I'm a different, there's a main reason why I'm an Xbox fan. Uh, over PlayStation, that's because I like multiplayer. Uh, it doesn't mean like right now I'm playing the Evil Within 2. Every once in a while you like to get into a good story or it's like Halloween, you want to get into a, a, a scary game or something. Like that. That's cool, I get that. But like for the most part, and Dealer knows, like Dealer will jump in, we're, we're hanging out. He'll jump in when I'm playing Destiny, he's playing Forza. But like we're all chatting and bullshitting and hanging out and multiplayer usually scenarios. And I mean, that's that's the situation that kind of links us as, as Xbox guys. And when you see PlayStation people, they, they, all they ever do is argue with you. They're like, I can't wait to play God of War. And I can't wait to play that. And it's like, okay, that's cool. But like, and I like God of War. I'm going to buy that too. But I mean, like at the same time, it's like, that's what separates us. So when what I don't understand is if we're going to sit here once and for all, let's just say this, right? And PlayStation guys, you're going to agree with me. PlayStation is the single player box, no doubt. Mm -hmm. But if yeah. you're going to say that, then we're going to raise this, the other flag and say that multiplayer belongs and is the Xbox. Xbox mm. is the multiplayer mm. place to be. And that doesn't mean in all, say, in all circumstances, in all games. No, 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 no. It's actually but, a very fair statement. Isn't it? I mean, that, that's yeah. all I'm saying. If you guys want to launch up the flag, say your single player game and, and it's PlayStation or bust, fine. Then, but that's why I'm an Xbox guy. I prefer to be more social. Like look, at, it, look at it this way, Moosh. We have Xbox has the highest rated exclusive first-person shooter in Halo 5, which right. is like an 86, 85. We have the highest rated Gears of War third-person shooter. That's 84, 86, I do believe. You have the highest rated multiplayer racing games in Forza Motorsport. And, eh, high 80s again. Uh, you've got, well, the only RTS. It's multiplayer on pretty much any console, this AAA status. That's Halo Wars, and it, I think an 80. So, yeah, I mean, mostly it's multiplayer stuff over here with some campaign stuff as well. Whereas on the Sony side, you get Uncharted, which is in the 90s. Uh, you've got Horizon Zero Dawn, which I think is a mid 80s. Um, you know, and, and you, you got some GT other things. Sport in the low 70s. Oh, shit. No, my, never mind. Forget well, about that. Well, I mean, you one. got the order. I didn't want to go too far down the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> you know, they take too far in the closet because you yeah. get some of the stinkier stuff. I get yeah, you. You come out with a little crusty sock on your leg. You just never yeah. know, you know. So, yeah, exactly. you mean kills on Shadowfall. Yeah. Well, you know, oh, we, my we, God. You guys, you know, game. people kind of have like, like short term memory, too. Do you remember back five, six, seven years ago? People used to get upset when a multiplayer element wasn't added to the game. This is before oh, people yeah. started, right? They were complaining. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And now you don't hear that anymore. And, and here's the thing. So for your dollar, and this is just your money, people. This isn't about my favorite console or anything like that. This is just for your dollar. If you're going to buy a game, and I'll just pick on Spider-Man. Let's just say it's 10 hours, right? <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just saying it's yeah. 10 hours and it's 60 bucks, right? And then people are like, well, you know, uh, no, well, fuck that. Crackdown 3 is going to be 60 bucks. And you're gonna get a ten-hour campaign, and then you're gonna have like what? How many hours of co-op? Co either co-op campaign, campaign yeah. and then multiplayer. Yeah. And so you're gonna get. I mean, just just for your dollar, guys. Just however you stretch that, George Washington, you're getting more for your dollar. <laughs> generally, with multi with the with the uh, Xbox exclusives. Um, yeah, that's actually a really good point as well because you know. But one thing I say is people think single player is dying out, and I'm thinking, well, it used to be that multiplayer people really wanted it, they clamored for it. But now everything has multiplayer, and say it with me, when everyone has something, it's just not as special as, as it was before, and now mm -hmm. single player is a bit more rare, so I right. feel like single player might be a little bit more in demand here uh, in the coming years, and hopefully they listen to that, and they can always do both at the same time, you know? Yeah. Hey, you know what? Here's the thing, right? Like, I like single player experiences, too. Like, I just got, I just finally beat South Park uh, today. Uh, really good game, you know. All in all, I put 15 hours into it, almost 700 gamer score. Quality game, right? Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm done with it. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not going to go back to it. You know what I mean? Like, hey, great. Not going to play on hard mode crap? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Playing <laughs> I'm not. I mean, I, I did pretty much all I could do on that game. Fun game. Moving on. Um, I started back playing some fourth to seven, getting waiting for the X. But um, like, I remember like just because they add multiplayer to a game. Like, remember the Tomb Raider reboot? They had the most horrible yeah. multiplayer yeah. in that game. And like, yeah. yeah, it's not good when they do that. Mm-hmm. Like, there's some games that it's absolutely great. You know, like Gears was a game that I think has great multiplayer and single player. Um, same thing with Halo. Like it can be done. Well, those right? broke. Those broke. <laughs> you just named two games that broke ground of <laughs> multiplayer. You know, like Horde mode on Gears. Was it Gears Two? Was when it first came out. Mm-hmm. Horde mode was like the coolest thing that no, nobody had ever seen before. And Halo, of course, was the birth of you know multiplayer shooters on console. So yeah, right. I mean that's where it comes from. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, one of the games that comes to mind from last gen that was a big deal that this was all kind of brought up was Bioshock 2, I believe, had a multiplayer element. I didn't play it tacked. at all. Yeah, it, was it was tacked tacked. on, right? Totally tacked on. Just terrible. And uh, then when Bioshock Infinite came out, they had asked Ken Levine, they said to him, they said, w- w- why did you, why would you charge the same amount and now there's no multiplayer? <laughs> and, and he was like, well, you know, I mean, there was this like open world thing that you could play, but it was, I think it was you versus, uh, you know, AI. And he goes, I just didn't, I, frankly, I didn't want to waste the time and resources or money yep. on, on something like that because it was an absolute failure. And, and that was the thing, but that was a huge argument. That was like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. We bought Bioshock 2 for 60 bucks and got so much more. And now we're going to buy Bioshock Infinite and get that much less. And That's it's a funny. Dumb argument, though, it isn't, it's an awful argument. And, yeah. and, and, and I mean, and now, like, I think it was Calder. I don't know if it was you, dealer. One of you just said, now it's reversed. And I think it was you, dealer. You said, now we're mm-hmm. looking at, Single player games, and I don't think single player games are dead. They're not dead at all. I think there's no. there's there's totally a place for that. You can't sit here and show me the success that the Switch is having and tell me that single player is dead. Exactly. It's not. But that's I mean, what you keep hearing from places like the No and all these other fraud YouTube channels, right? And it's just you know that's why people say this: Microsofts aren't doing single player. It's all service based. This or that. And what people don't understand is you can do both. Uh, you can do a, you can do a great single player like Last of Us, and then have that multiplayer like Last of Us, and they're both technically, and that's why I said the kind of roles are reversed. Where you got so much multiplayer out there where it used to be in super demand, now everyone's kind of veering back towards single player, myself included. I want some good single player narratives, and and hopefully they're doing that right now. Yeah. It, well, and it looks like it looks like we are starting to get a little bit more of that, which I'm happy for. Remember, Titanfall One didn't have a have a single player, and now it does. Battlefield mm-hmm. One. I mean, Battlefront One didn't have single player. Now, Battlefield <clears throat> Battlefront Two does. Yeah. So they they see that they people want this, um, and and, and I, I want it too. Like, I, if you're gonna get a game, I always thought if you're just a multiplayer game, you should be half price. If you're just a single player game, you should maybe be half price. Yeah. Uh, the just, the uh, problem is gamers are so fickle. I've watched yeah. over the past ten years, and and they want more multiplayer now. They want more single player, and devs are always a step behind on everything. And it just hasn't worked, they really worked out. Do what they're passionate about and what they want to do because that's going to give them the best product. Yeah, and there's so many games yeah. out there. Like I know me personally, I'm always finding a good handful of games to keep me busy all year long on the platforms I have. So I don't have that problem. You know, I'm always enjoying what I'm playing. And the guy that really likes, or the guy or girl that really likes multiplayer games, those games are there. They're playing Battlefield. They're playing Call of Duty. They're playing Madden and other stuff like that. There's, it's there. Yeah. I mean, everything everything is, is is a sine wave. Everything is cyclical. Everything history repeats itself. I mean, just yep. as far as design in people's homes, and I know a lot of people here that like that are listening are homeowners. You guys all if you all bought a home in the past 10, 12 years, everything in your house is brushed nickel or stainless steel. It's like, oh my God, brass and gold are so ugly. But now it's coming <laughs> back. Well, now it's coming back. Oh, and it it's is like crap. it is, right? And it's like, <laughs> oh shit. And no, but it is, and that's the whole thing. And it's like there was a period of time where multiplayer was it. And if you didn't have multiplayer in your game, mm-hmm. it was garbage. It was absolute trash. Now people are like, well, multiplayer only. I don't know if it really warrants my attention or my money. I want both, right? At least want single player. And and, and this will change again, folks. It'll all go in a, in a, in a cyclical banner. It's just, just the way things are. Life uh, History has a way of repeating itself, and it's going to happen again and again and again. And now we're just coming full front again, and we're seeing it. And I think, that's, I think you're going to see it again, give it five to ten years. The real question is, uh, um, what does uh, Hellhammer think about all this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell hammer. Hell hammer. Hell hammer. Hmm. Wake him up. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Hell hammer. Wake yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> what, what does hell hammer think about that? What, what do you think yeah. about that? Hell yeah. Hammer? Yeah. Uh, great, great stuff. 
Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I could have the, I no, brought I mean, the Boldly Beaver in here. Come on. No. Oh, no, I mean, actually, I mean, the thing is, is that the tech club. I asked players, you because you're like a Witcher fan, big time. I know you love yeah. single player. Yeah, and, the single you know, player. You want some of this. Yeah, I mean, the single player is a bigger aspect for me lately because <laughs> I mean, I still have the time to get you know multiplayer games much. You know, it's like different schedules with everybody that I play with and that kind of thing. It's like don't have the time to do it. So. Single player is a bigger thing for me. Tacked on multiplayer is just dumb. I think it's just a wasted development time. I mean, mm -hmm. honestly. And, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you can't, I mean, the half price on either single player only or multiplayer only doesn't really work either because games cost a fortune to develop. I mean, right? Like, I think I think multiplayer games are definitely multiplayer only games should definitely be half yeah, price. Yeah, multiplayer like, only, I think, works well at cheaper. a half price because, it's yeah, cheaper they're cheaper to develop. Only. Yeah, but like I mean, you take a game like The Witcher, right? Like that game, you know, cost a lot of money to develop. And but they made yeah. money on that game. I mean, if you, if I think you it actually had a pretty modest budget uh, for CD Projekt Red. Right? I I heard it was actually really low for how ridiculously amazing that game is. So yeah. Hey, speaking of that, there are some games. A lot of people keep asking me because Microsoft did say they're going to have around seventy enhanced titles. Uh, when the X launches, and everybody's like, "Yay!" Hey, so, so which games are going to launch? Well, today on mine, Titanfall 2, uh, but some people are also showing me Path of Exile, Killer Instinct, Fallout 3, Crossout, uh, and some of these other mine ones. Mine changes that on the up. daily on that damn list. Uh, I got to seriously check it. Gears 4 is Jez, in. Jez, yeah, Gears 4 is in there, obviously, as well. Jez Gordon, or Corden, however you say his name, the British dude, <laughs> Uh, he said, uh, "Hey, I love British people, man. He's good, good for him." But he said that his Battlefront Two uh, that he has pre-ordered uh, is also showing up under there. So, really? yeah, yeah, that would be that's something that I'm looking forward to because my worst fear is I'm going to get the Xbox One X next week, and the games I want to play aren't going to be in hand. <laughs> you know? I, I have five games listed under mine right now: Fallout Three. Woo! I don't even have that shit installed, man. Here's Fallout. Four. Super yes. Lucky's Tale, Titanfall 2, and World of Tanks. Yeah, yeah World of Tanks. in 4K. Man. I know, right? Like, here's the thing. Like, I, I've never been a Fallout fan. Like, as much as people always try to get me into Fallout, oh, I always tell Hellhammer. I know. I always tell Hellhammer, too, right? I'm like, uh, I'm like Hellhammer. I always or, fall for it. He always fall for it. this shit, right? He he buys these games, right? Like, he, he bought Fallout 4. Because that commercial, we're at GameStop, and he's like, man, that Fallout game, they make that look good. And I said, hell, Hammer, let me tell you what's going to happen. You're going to get the game, then you're going to be like, it sucks, and you're never going to finish it, and it's going to be a waste of money. And what happened? Exactly that, pretty much. I played it for about four and a half, five hours, and I was like, this is the same as all the other Fallout games. <laughs> yeah, and then, he's, he, then he sold it. Not only that, but he bought himself that present on his girlfriend's birthday at the time uh he was like hey one for I'm... you one for me <laughs> no no that like, was a poor decision Look that, that was a poor decision i'm just i, I, you know, I, I like, chose poorly he did say, <laughs> <laughs> bad karma <laughs> so, yeah. hey, he's still learning man he's young he's, he's getting there so um yeah you know like so so we are starting to see some more of these but you know what was cool what was weird was jim ryan announced 225 games on the ps4 pro are supposedly enhanced by the pro there's 225 <laughs> Which, games enhanced for the pro yeah that's what he said that's about the level of excitement I for those patches there's it's like no assassin. I know. Oh my like, God. That's the joke. There's um, the joke. Like Colt, I love. I just well, he's well, he's like I saw the video that Colt Eastwood called us out for not having enhanced games <laughs> list. So here it is. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's funny. I can't find the list. It has two hundred twenty-five. There is no Nowhere. list. They, he just quoted the two twenty-five. So. It's there, and people are like, well, you know, they're probably not as enhanced as the X games. I'm like, no, 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 come on, guys. Don't move the goalposts like the, like the PlayStation 4 guys do. If they say they're enhanced, you know, they've got a higher resolution than 1080p. They've got HDR or something like that. So it's the same stuff. No, but it's not the same stuff. The Witcher patch alone <laughs> is proof of that. Well, yes, there, there, there is no goalpost moving. When you got Dirt 4 at 1080p <laughs> on the base PS4, the fucking Pro version is still 1080p with better anti-aliasings and slightly higher resolution shadows. That's not enhanced to me. This That's is why I can't talk to Dealer because he... 
Because dealer slaps me around all the time. Dang, I called you can't say. Now, I'm just saying, there's there's definitely this is next level with DX, and, and yes. just because the pro claims that number, that I told you guys a year ago, the patches will not be as substantial, and overall they will not be as common, and that is absolutely the case as we just and, learned with The Witcher today. And there's 75 uh, more games on the pro, and it's been out an entire year. We still have a week to go for the extra release, and it is like nipping at the heels of a year long list of enhanced games. So, I know yeah, as, a, as a pro owner, as a, someone who talks to people in the PlayStation all the time, they're disappointed. I'm disappointed in the pro. I'm not getting the options I want. It's called the resolution box for a reason. And all of these Xbox One X enhanced titles are not just getting a bump to resolution for the most part. Most of them are getting better settings. You know, we're going to get into The Witcher later, but that is a massive example of what I've been talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. And so you speak of The Witcher 4, right? Uh, uh, or three. The Witcher 3, mind you. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't know where the hell I was at. Witcher. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so they announced The Witcher 3 enhancements, which, by the way, Microsoft is doing a brilliant job with these uh, wires where they're talking to the developers about these in particular. And so they asked them what the, what the Xbox One X version of The Witcher 3 is getting, and it's getting 4K, numerous visual tweaks as high-quality shadows, ambient occlusion, texture filtering, and higher-resolution textures, and an all-around performance boost. Uh, it's also getting HDR, which is cool. I don't know if the PS4 Pro version has HDR. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. really sure. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so yeah, so the Xbox One X version is going to have HDR and better textures and filtering and all this kind of stuff in 4K. So, so we don't. I'm fairly certain that the PS4 version doesn't have HDR because I, I I was reading the Twitter post and there's a bunch of PlayStation people begging for HDR on the PlayStation. So, and we don't know if it's native 4K on the X, but we do know that the Pro is 1920 by 2160. Checker. Thank board. you, dealer. So they just took one. Uh, Pass, which is the horizontal pass, and up up res the vertical pixels. Is that what they did? Basically, it, it's got the pixel density of just over 1440p. So you can yeah, expect right. Witcher 3 to be probably a native 4K on the Xbox One X. Not only that, but the Pro also doesn't have any boost to any kind of textures on the geometry, yep. the land, the characters, anything. That's why it's a 140 megabyte patch. It also yep. only has a little boost to ambient occlusion, the, the lowest setting, where the X has not only over double the pixel density, or around double the pixel density, you're also getting better performance. You're also getting better textures on the characters, the ground, everything. The yeah, probably much that. faster load times as well. Much dude. faster load oh, times. Yeah. So when you die, you're not going to die of old age for your respawn. <laughs> yeah. You're also getting better ambient occlusion. You're also yes. getting higher shadow detail. You are mm -hmm. getting the PC experience aside from the frame rate, depending on what that is or what options they give you. Uh, you're, you're, you're getting the visuals from the PC yeah, version. That's it, it's going to be 30, and you're probably going to get Based off what I've been reading, and, and just based off of what I think, anyways, it's going to be clo pretty close to like high PC ultra. settings. It's going to be ultra. It's going to be high ultra. Is what it's going to be. High, high ultra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you, somebody hey. sent me. Somebody sent me this PS4 Pro enhanced list at day list, and they list 25 games. It's like The Evil Within 2, which that's not even really enhanced yet. Uh, Shadow of War, uh, FIFA 18, Madden, Destiny 2. You think Mass they would avoid effect. Shadow putting Shadow of War anywhere here in the comments? <laughs> Near Neo, Gravity Rush, <laughs> Gravity Rush 2, The Last Guardian, Call of Duty, uh, Infinite Warfare, Dishonored 2, Watch Dogs, Final Fantasy 15, <laughs> Titanfall 2, Battlefield. All right, now, hang on. We can stop you there, crap, because what yeah. I'm noticing about all of those games is, from what I remember, 98% of those is just a resolution bump. Yeah, right. most of them are. Hey, I wonder if he's talking about games that are getting "quote unquote" boost mode, where it's just like, who knows? This is Jim Ryan, that idiot, said, "Who plays old games when they're selling you PS Now subscriptions?" That's what true. A That's true. Right? Yeah. And he said that devs weren't going to do the extra effort for the X too. So he's been just like a lot of the Sony fanboys in the comments over the past year. I cannot oh, state man. enough how much you've been wrong. A thousand bucks wouldn't do 4K. No one would support it. No 60 FPS game. Just, you know, just get the fuck out of here. Hey, look, here's the thing, right? You guys, you guys think Jim Ryan is daft right there. Listen to what he says about the Xbox One X. He said, specs are interesting, but the proof is in how games look. Like, fucking <laughs> obviously, <laughs> right? Oh, my God. Oh, no, I kid is you that not. Really he's like, a soup can at his head. At <laughs> hey, oh hey this is what he says. This is his direct quote. He said, specs are interesting, but that's all they are, specifications. The proof is in how the games look and which games they are. 
You saw last night there was a great range of games, many of which are exclusive to our platform and you will only find on a PS4 Pro. That, I think, allow us to feel, as I said almost three times last night, that we remain the best place to play. You and then he never, turns yeah. the mic over and goes, Cliffy B, do you have anything to add to this? <laughs> an exclusive partnership with PlayStation. Hey, Cliff, whenever I picture Cliffy B, I, plic- I picture him in the John Travolta gift where he's looking for players on, on his game. He's like, PS4, PC, no, no. No, he's you got guys, no players you guys anymore. The best place to play in their marketing now. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's never been the worst time to play there now with the X's coming out. It's, it's never so been the worst time to pick up a PlayStation. It, yeah. it, it's true. Actually, dealer's comments correct. And the thing is, is to go back to what we said earlier, I mean, Jim Ryan's Jim Ryan's comments, that they really are kind of insane. Like, for him to say, <laughs> it, right? I mean, it comes down to what it looks like. Like, you have Digital Foundry has said, they've done like eight episodes now of like, Holy shit! Our eyes are blown out the back of our head. Like, like yeah. Jim, that would have been that's that's a comment you make like six, seven months ago. My not, gosh, like, I did, not I did, now. I did, after what just happened now. in general war. Holy yeah, God. I, mean, yeah. I did a video about Jim Ryan back in June when he said the parody thing, and the same week he said nobody wants to play old games. Boy, did I get hammered from people! Like I was just lying off my face. I'm like, wait a minute, I think this is the guy who's wrong because he said yeah. that they're going to go to the lot, lowest common denominator. Yeah, and he's not the only one to say that. A lot, bunch of PlayStation fans says nobody's going to spend any extra time developing crap, I don't Xbox One. Them. Yeah, I don't listen to them. I listen to PR <laughs> from from Sony, but yeah, crazy man. Yeah, it's a, it, it is insane. And Jim Ryan, like Mooch, you said it perfectly. The guy, he's the one that said nobody wants to play old games. Uh, you know what I mean? Backwards compatibility is crazy. Uh, you know, like, and now he's saying that it it comes down to how the games look. Well, no shit. And the funny part that is, quote in the moment. yeah. If yeah. you look at if you look at the comments and stuff, everybody's like, <laughs> "Well, why does Microsoft think having better resolution is gonna make win them some kind of console war now?" And I seriously, when you read that, I'm just like, I cannot fucking believe this, right? Like, mm-hmm. where am I? You know, yeah. like, I'm, am are I in Stranger Things? Like, resolution, and that's what got PlayStation where they're at for the most <laughs> exactly. part. Exactly. You're also Everything's getting much more down. resolution. That's been pretty it funny, is so. It is. Why was resolution such a goddamn big deal before? But now. It's not a big deal at whatsoever. Hey, right. what's up, sir? X Man, thanks for the donation in the super chat. Mooch is gonna have that enabled this Sunday. I guarantee it. You already know it. We're calling it the yeah. Mooch chat. Hey, yes. We got over eight nine hundred watching. Hit that That's like amazing. button. Hit that like it, button, guys. folks. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, everybody's excited for the X Man. You got yeah, a, a well, lot of, six days. Yeah, a lot of excited people. Well, I know how I mean, paid off his. They and, should be excited. I mean, I'll I'll speak for myself here, and I, I want to hear what the panel thinks. The X is actually what I thought, I think all of us gamers, PlayStation and Xbox fans, I think that's what we thought this generation was going to be three years ago. You know, I mean, to be honest mm-hmm. with you, I thought we were taking that yeah, next big much. jump, right? I mean, we've been on multiple podcasts where we've all said, before we even knew about Scorpio and all this other, before there was a PS4 Pro or a Neo, we were like, you know, we this this generation hasn't provided the largest leap like the last one did. And this ga- this console coming out on Tuesday does that very same thing for us that the 360 did. It's the, quote, yeah. real next generation, unquote. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So even though this is a mid-gen, it, to me personally, visually and texture-wise, and, and, and the, the beauty of this is it works seamlessly with everything you already own. It sounds to me like 80% of the games you all already own in the audience that are listening are going to be able to play all your games better looking than they've ever been. And experience them a whole new way, and, and then you're going to get all these new games that are coming out that run faster, smoother, better looking, and it's a more powerful console. This is actually what we wanted in 2013. Yeah, and you've got the extra services. You've got Dolby Atmos, 4K Blu-ray player, 4K 60 game yes. capturing. You've got Mixer. You've got. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. But people are like, well, why would? Why do you need this? What well, doesn't do anything but prettier graphics and. and like what I have to buy a 4K TV just plays. I'm like, have you do you not read? Do you not listen? <laughs> you never talk. talked to a PC gamer before? Like what yeah, do you mean? So many times that every well, single game is built into Super Sample down to a 1080p TV where it'll look better than ever because it does more than just boost pixels. People yeah, don't and it's listen. not even just it's not even just that, right? Like even every generation, like you yeah, you get a little bit of game AI logic and that sort of stuff, but more often than not, at least recently, anyways, with the, with from the 360 onwards, you're not going to see a huge, huge difference in actual game mechanics changing. 
Well, no, it's the same generation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying, though, uh, even next generation, you're probably not going to see a huge, huge difference. It's like, I agree. Yeah, you might not. Game mechanics are are getting to a point now where it's just, it's, they're kind of, uh, you know, plateauing a little bit. You know, well, Hellhammer, I don't, I don't blame you for making that, that point. And I I think there's, it's the safe point to make right now. But I don't know if that's necessarily true because I think we're looking at three, four years from now. Um, you know, there's people already flirting around and I understand this is a farther out concept than maybe it's six years out, but forget the 8k world. Let's just talk about frames. Like this is the next generation is going to solidify consoles at 60 plus frames, right? So then you're really up to snuff. You're by then you'll have definitely powerful enough GPUs to handle the the resolution. And then you're going to have the CPUs at the point where they're affordable enough to be able to put in these boxes so that the, the, now the frame, you know, the FPS is, is, is up to snuff. So next generation will still be enough of an advancement that I think, because I think you can ask any gamer on any system and say, can you tell the difference between 30 and 60 frames? And, and, and every, anybody who has, I don't even care if you're 20, 20 vision, oh, I don't yeah. give a shit what you have, they can tell the difference. So I do think next generation still will hold a candle because oh, even yeah, though yeah. you're going to, you know what I mean? You're going to see certain games like what, yeah. with, what the coalition's doing with gears. But a lot of people are waiting to play that 4K 60 on a console, and that's oh, what the next generation definitely. will bring. What, what I'm saying is, you're not going to see like a major difference as far as like mechanics goes. Like no, actual, prob- like, probably so, not. Yeah. So I, I would talk at a lot of graphical options, like the, the phrase for second. I still consider that basically a graphical option. I think yeah, you guys are you're onto something here, but I also think that um, I think physics is going to play a major role in next generation. I feel like we're we've got the power now to run a lot of these newer games at 4K, as that's being proven now at high settings. Settings, even ultra settings in some cases that's been proven yeah. uh, and next generation you're going to have rise and of course apus and you're going to have yeah. frame rate options but i think they're going to ramp up things like uh physics on clothing and destruction and you know i'm playing a game right now called mud uh, what is it spin tires mud runner or vice versa where it, this game has crazy fucking physics it's a it's a game where you go through a terrain and you're just trying to get logs from point a to point b but it's got ultra realistic physics and and terrain deformation it's, it's really cool it's just a little game that's a good point they decided to put all of their effort into the physics of the game yes. and it's stuff that i haven't seen anywhere else therefore well, i'm intrigued a lot of the physics and stuff is done on the GPU side, at least on PC side. Yeah, especially now with hardware accelerated physics on the GPU side, like Wolfenstein 2 has that. That's how they were able to do that in the Xbox One version. Yeah. Uh, Microsoft are working on a technology called Direct Physics now that's going to be powered by DX12. So yeah. you're going to see a lot of that. DX12 stuff isn't games. real. Stop lying, dealer. I know, right? So, <laughs> so you know, they are working on that technology God. now. So. so I'd like to ask, I'd like to ask dealer to back me up on this, but you know, with the X being the way it is, I think it makes the step into generation generation nine or whatever it's going to be called the, the xbox five as i call it <laughs> to compete with the ps5 um i think it it makes it a lot easier in my opinion they could take basically what you have with the x uh, they could take that gpu and instead of like a 2.3 gigahertz processor they could build something closer to 3.5 in 2020 or 2021 and i think with something with with that combination of power with what the X has in the GPU and a faster processor, you could be looking at games that could play 1080p or 1440p 60 on every game. Like that's it's got enough power to do that. Well, by but then they'll, they'll need the to power. double the power, right? On the you GPU have, side, you have yeah. the power, you'd have the power next generation to run any game uh, early on at uh, 1440p 60 or 4K 60. You know, a lot of games could probably hit that like we're seeing on some titles with the X that are probably going to happen. So well, I think oh, next you, gen is, a, is an easier step. Do you still think, um, because you're saying 2020 or 2021 for the next Xbox, what about the PS4? Are you still, because your video leads me to believe 2019 for PS5. Well, I made three, yeah. st- what I think are solid points, why PS5 is going to come <laughs> in 2019. Re- re- reason number one, I'll take the five minute video and make it 15 seconds. Re- reason number one is the Xbox One X is going to push the PS5 to 2019. Sony cannot sit around for two or three years getting their butt stomped in with these graphics and not do anything about it because you guys know as well as I do, and every gamer on this chat and listening knows graphics do matter as much as they tell you graphics don't matter because they'll use it as a straw man argument when there's nothing else to say. Reason number two, that Sony said that the Pro is a mid-generation refresh. And at 2016, uh, compared to 2013, the launch of the base PS4, that puts the PS5 at 2019, okay? Now there's wiggle room for 2020, sure. The third reason, I don't care, I don't know. I said it, so it's 2019. That's the third reason. <laughs> Well, I mean, Nicole, don't get me wrong. I think both of your points are valid, and you got you got numbers on your side. The problem is, is if you look at what they're going to have to do, to, what they're going to be able to afford to put into the box 
for 2019. They'll have to start their purchasing end of 2018, early 2019, to be able to do a fall 2019 Ask release. No, my, my point being is that that, that actually – is 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 detrimental to Sony in my personal opinion because if they do that if they do that whatever they put out in 2019 won't be that much quote me here won't be that much more powerful than the X and Microsoft will literally I don't know if you guys ever seen uh, the rock okay with Sean Connery and it was the oh, very yeah. beginning oh, right the guys are storming in they're storming into the rock and the and the military's coming up through the hole and they and they're they're down they're down in the pit and I think it was Ed Harris. He was like, drop your weapon, drop your weapon. They're like, we have we you. And he's like, he's like, we're higher ground. You yeah. will lose this fight. My point being is by coming out in 2019, Microsoft is on the hill. They'll lose the fight ultimately, even though they'll come out with a little bit more powerful software because Microsoft, will, you know they're coming out 2020, 2021, and they're going to blow yeah. them away because whatever Sony does in 2019 will be a slight bump above the X, not enough for what will be cost effective. They'll probably, yeah, exactly. What so, Sony would do was only be able to do their own 4K with high, <laughs> high quality textures, yeah. right? It'll be better than the X. It'll be better than the X for sure. But, but it's not going to be that that's much why I think we, can look at, we can basically look at what, how much time it took them to double their power or in Microsoft's case over a quadruple their power. So in four years, Microsoft uh, almost multiplied their power output by five in four years. If Sony do this, they were able to do it in three, but only double their power. Mm -hmm. If they waited four, then they can have something that's around 12 teraflops if they came out around 2020. Um, but like I said, that'd be with Ryzen Core, so you'd have 60 frames, you'd have more options. You'd but have can it be a console? Standard. What I want to ask dealers, could it be console consumer affordable? In 2019, yeah. just like yeah. uh, just like if they launched the uh, Xbox One X in 2013, that was a G that was a GTX Titan back yeah. then. Five point six seven teraflops from Nvidia cost twelve hundred dollars in 2013. Yeah, okay. or more. The, the, on the, the problem uh, I see RAM option. And tell me if I'm wrong here, guys. But the problem I see with, with the difference between Microsoft and Sony is Microsoft in each one of their boxes has had something custom, and Sony's just grabbed it off of aisle nine. Well, last year, so <laughs> the Xbox, you know, like I the problem. The RAM. So it's kind of custom, but that's, that's Oliver, you're you're killing me. You're done batering the mic. <laughs> you know, I mean that, that. I mean that's my whole. I think the reason you're seeing the power come out in the X, the reason you see Albert Pinello when he's sitting in a chair and he's actually floating six feet above it, is because they <laughs> they created they created this box and they were able to put that power in the box for that price. Well, they did. And it I don't. Right, yeah. Right, and I don't think Sony can emulate that. I just don't. They, not, not that they don't have the engineers. They do. They don't have the capital. Nobody yeah, has any I, idea how much R&D went into this I, box, I want to point out this, too, because you're kind of right with that, even though I'm not, like, a huge tech person. Microsoft built the console that works around the engines of the game. Right. right. Right, specifically. Um, and then, of course, they have the, the DirectX 12 stuff, and I, I know, like, the PS4 has its own <clears> whatever, but... DirectX 12 is said to be really much, much easier, and it's baked right into the X. That's the so, thing. So you have the software coming from Microsoft. Yeah. Now you have the Microsoft hardware team, which is like lights out. It's a, it's a, it's a very hard fight for Sony. So, Those and, are all and really then, good points, but all that in mind, the silicon's been designed around the engines and all 60-something bottlenecks and GPU's been eliminated as a result. You're, all that awesome shit, DX12 and all, 12 gigs of RAM, you're still going to see frame drops on the X. So just keep that in mind. That was just part of getting the absolute most out of the silicon they had, and you're still going to have uh, frame drops here and there. It's just going to happen. Every piece of hardware does it. Like 1080 does it. You know, it, yes. it's going to happen. So, you know, just don't hype it up too much in regards to, oh, it's something completely different. It's still susceptible to uh, 8 million pixels and a bunch of fucking great-looking effects on screen. Uh, you know, it's it's better than the pro in every way. We'll have to wait and see what comes after that, honestly. And we, we've all seen two to eight frame drops like our whole life gaming, and none of us have drop kicked our system, our PC, <laughs> or our Xbox, or eight. You know, like uh, Digital Foundry was showing Assassin's Creed Origins compared to a PC, and they were showing uh, the difference was two to three frames at the most on the grid between the pro and this PC build. I'm like, and they're like, you can see the difference. I'm like, don't even say that's a difference. Like, honestly, who would ever notice that the Pro is dropping more frames than a PC version? You would notice the PC dropping frames because uh, that's why PC gamers hate 30 frames so much. Don't get me wrong, 60 yeah. shits all over 30 a thousand times over. Yes. But on PC, if, I'm, if I want to see something at like fucking 200% scaling at 4K, so above 4K, and I, I run my car down to 30 frames per second, 
that 30 frames is horrible because the frame pacing is fucking just so abysmal that it's so yeah. choppy. And that's what a lot of PC gamers think console gaming at 30 yes, is. It's very choppy because I can go play Forza Horizon 3 on the standard X at 30 frames and it just feels just right. It's it just... It, it, it feels much better because it's yes. not improper frame yeah, pacing. Yeah, so. much better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a, well, it's it's what they do, and that, and I think that that's cool, man. And 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 I'm I'm looking forward to. It. Did you see? Because Metal Gear Solid Five got a pro patch, right? Mm -hmm. And they enhanced it to 1440p. And Richard Ledbetter seemed a little bit depressed by that. Yeah. He's like, because it was predictable. Yeah, very predictable. Because <laughs> that's what the pro does most of the time: a straight yeah. resolution bump, a doubling in resolution, or maybe a mode with something else. Yeah, you know, it was 1440p, nothing else, nothing, um, yeah, like nothing, like, wow. So he, he, he actually looked depressed. I was like, I was like, huh, that's interesting, man, it's poor slightly guy. Under, slightly under half of 4K, isn't it, dealer? Yep. Yeah, because about, about 1500p, which most games either go 1440 or up to 1600 on uh, the uh, checkerboard rendering on the Pro. Yeah, fit, you know, 1400, 1440p is under half of 4K. But, you know, it probably looks great. The game was a good-looking game. Yeah. I played it on the X, or Xbox One, I mean. Yeah, the problem was, was the game was already 1080 60 on the regular PS4. Mm -hmm. Right. So the fact that they only did 1440 bump uh, was a little bit odd. Yeah, because I mean, it's going to look good. It's just he was, dis he was disappointed because it was so predictable because that's what they do on the Pro. Yeah. They don't even bother checkerboarding anymore because it takes time. Developers don't want to spend time doing that. So that's why Assassin's Creed isn't checkerboarded on the Pro. It's, it's 1350p on average when you're playing this game on the Pro. And that's just a bump from 1080, and that's about the only enhancement you get. It is a reoccurring theme. It is not the exception to the rule. It seems to be the rule a year in, and that's why the X is so exciting. Uh, yeah, you know, these games are getting a lot of stuff. Well, that's why it's easy just to throw a, a hundred megabyte patch onto something and call it a day. <laughs> yeah. Hey, damn, hell, I'm taking shots. Hey, you guys can go. You guys can make sure to go ahead and mess with him at his channel. He's got all kinds of videos up. Oh wait, no, he doesn't. Uh, yeah. Just get him on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, just get him on Twitter. Which is, which is, uh, yeah, you like that? Lab, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got we got some pub Jesus new pub Jesus. Uh, Say it, December should have trademarked that. <laughs> pub Jesus. Jesus. Um, yeah, uh, December twelfth on the Xbox One. Twenty nine ninety nine HDR at launch. Uh, it's going to be 4K with 4K textures coming to the X, but not at launch, sadly. Um, hey, Craig, yeah. how cool is this? Two of the hottest games on the Xbox this holiday season, Cuphead and PUBG, are under 60 bucks. You know, <clears> I think that's great. That awesome. You can, you can get both for 50 <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> like, so cool. Yeah, it's, and this also is going to have a physical release as well, so that's pretty cool. This game, um, even though everybody's waiting for the bottom to fall out on it, 17 over 17 million sold so far in Jeez. seven months. It's amazing. Like, God, that hey, is one insane. is something that just was basically it's a mod. It, yeah. it's crazy to me, but it, I mean, that's the way it works, you know. Yeah, it is. Heard of Flappy Bird, right? That's how, Left yeah, Dead, it's, it's that's how Left 4 Dead came about, you know, a mod from Counter Strike, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just that's the way to go, I think. Maybe I should do that, that for some money. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, look for the Xbox Nation mod. Uh, Xbox well, Nation Battle Royale. What's what's the deal, crap, with the whole box art switching to console exclusive? And then there, you know, and then Aaron Greenberg comes out again and goes, "Get make sure that you enjoy the Xbox One console exclusive." Dot dot dot. Just for this holiday, and I'm like, "Come on, man! What which is it? For God's sake!" <laughs> oh my well, God. you know, here's the thing: the box says console exclusive, right? Right. So you're like, that's new, and then it's like. Um, uh, preview edition. <laughs> yeah, the preview edition. Well, like, apparently, so Gears like, 4, the box says console exclusive too. Somebody told me in the chat on RDX last night. And we know that's a console exclusive. So that's why. Yeah. We're kind of yeah. Here's, the, here's the thing that, that I question, right? Like, I don't care. It can go to PlayStation event. I don't really care. Yeah, this is cares. the thing that I want to question is this Microsoft is publishing this game, Microsoft is sharing their, uh, their water technology from Sea of Thieves with this game. Right. Azure. Yeah, Microsoft is also letting them use Azure servers for the PC and the Xbox version, and they've expressed that both uh, the PUBG developers and Microsoft, they want cross-play lobbies. Um, you know what I mean? Obviously, you're not going to have to play against keyboard and mouse if you don't want to, but they do want that. So all that stuff being said, it does seem weird that Sony would get a version. Like, what's their version going to run on? Right. You know? Uh, 
<laughs> like I, I would have to question that. Yeah, because know? it like, does seem like Microsoft is going there and helping them develop all of those things you just said, all of those variables, how it's going to yeah. work based on those servers, right? How it's going to work on a controller, how it's going to work using the different physics and the different engine that you have from Sea of Thieves and the water element. All these things are coming from Microsoft. I'm fairly certain, can't ever be 100% sure with Microsoft, that they're not going to just be like, oh, there you go. You guys can use it on PlayStation 2. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Maybe well, this will be the worst contract writers in the universe. Ever. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It is the worst. <laughs> it is the worst legal team in business. For and this company, folks, is not like 500 of the the top 500. It's like one or two respectively every year. Yeah. And they want still, everyone to play the games. You would, <laughs> to turn. You would you would think that Microsoft uh, this We're type of relation that that's uh that's bought themselves out of multiple legal issues before could you right. could get somebody to write a contract, but apparently not. Yeah, I mean, it is, and it, it's kind of weird because, uh, hey, we got Space Cat and Mel, like 940 people watching. Hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Uh, we're glad to see everybody's excited. Hey, uh, while we do got a bunch of people here now, I might as well plug something, which, Dealer, I know you guys are doing something Monday night as well. We're doing something, guys. Um, mm -hmm. we're doing a giveaway. We're giving away Assassin's Creed Origins on an MNC evening. It's kind of the kick it off, but uh, yeah. So that's that's going to be something that's that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, it's Xbox One X Eve. It's going to be great. You got MNC mornings. You got RDX. It's going to be. It's it, listen. It should be a festive night, right? This is our time. This is our time. Yeah. All right, everybody. This is we've been waiting three years for this shit, and now you're going to have a two three year bump. <laughs> where this. <laughs> <laughs> great. Hey, it is. It's an exciting time to be a fan, and, hey, and it, it, it's so. Isn't the Xbox <laughs> One X cool. just like when Sloth like rips open his shirt and the Superman's like that's the reveal of Scorpio? It's like, <laughs> hey, you Perfect. can't talk about it's that on Hellhammer. Hellhammer has never seen what uh, the uh, game. He's never seen the, the Goonies. Yeah. No, he's he's too young. He was born like way. Crap! Too late you've never that, seen but... Terminator Two, okay? Yeah, this is true. I've never yeah. seen Bro, you're problem. both quite yeah. fraudulent. It's, it's, that is a problem. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> frauds. Yeah, hey, you know what, though? I have seen The Goonies, though. I have to say, like, I love that show so, or that movie. So, I, I mean, I've seen that probably a hundred times. I'm, I always mean to go watch Terminator 2, but it's like I never saw the first one either. So holds up, man. You really don't need to see the first one, to be honest. Yeah. Well, it's like, you know what? I don't like watching stuff that takes place. Uh, oh, I guess that supposedly takes place in the 80s or whatever, too. So, it's fine, but like nowadays, when you when when you watch stuff like that takes place back then, it was supposed to be the future, and the stuff looks like it's old. <laughs> you know what it, I mean? It like it I doesn't like though. That. That's the thing. Like it, yeah. it was James Cameron. It was I think it was made in 1990, and uh, that movie still holds up today somehow. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. My if problem is... with a lot of those older movies like that just has to take place in the future now is like the lack of cell phones that would make oh a huge God. difference in a lot of situations. <laughs> However, <laughs> like the lack of cell phones. Oh, I mean, look, it's a technology that would makes a big difference. Like if people are stuck in a situation, oh, they can't make a phone yeah, call. They got to go know, find something. You know, you got to actually make Hal Hammer's point there for a second. Like we all sit here, right? And we're like, you know, you yell at people. You're like, get off your damn phone. Are you on that phone all day? It's just a toy. Get off it. It's actually not. And it has changed the way we live. It's, it's everything. Now, could you live without the phone? Yes, we've proved we've yeah. done it for centuries. But I'm just uh, saying to you that, like, we, we just, we, we, it's, it's the way we live now. And Hellhammer's right. You watch some of these things. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm watching Stranger Things, too. And yeah. uh, the phenomena behind it isn't just the, the, the creepy black screen that shows nothing that's not scary. It's, it's, the, it's the fact that it's the 80s, and everyone likes that yeah. era, and it's cool yeah. to see how they responded and how things were back in the day, like when the phone rings and the officer picks it up, and it's that old dial-up phone. You know what I mean? He's yeah. like, what do you want? Or they're at trying to get, I'm trying to get Luca whatever. to start watching Stranger Things. She oh, it's a great there. show. It's a great oh, show. Uh, Luca, you got to watch it. Yeah, Luca, get a fraud. <laughs> yeah, Luca, you got you to gotta watch Stranger Things. You know, I binge-watched that. Like, it's it was great. amazing. It, it is. is. It like, was. them going to the... Uh, to the to the arcade or dressing up as Ghostbusters because in the eighties I dressed up as a Ghostbuster in the eighties so when like I like totally re but uh, uh, crap gamer crap gamer facts but he really <laughs> yeah yeah when I was, yeah, that, I was, he, it, what he reminds him a lot of himself is the is the is the uh, guy who's the manager at the arcade that's always eating the Cheetos <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not true that's, crap gamer. that's not true you that need a quarter. <laughs> 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 
not true. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, that that guy does not remind. Screw you, Hellhammer, you bastard. Uh, yeah, it does not. <laughs> what does it? Man, that's what that's the wrong. What have been talking about like 15 uh, minutes ago? Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> I don't even know. Shit, I'm looking like. Okay. Xbox One X is, I think, what we were yeah, talking about. We were, uh, we were uh, pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, we could talk about. Uh, we could talk about this. Shannon Loftus was talking about Fable. Okay. And she kind of she kind of hints at that, right? She was talking about how mm-hmm. she moved to England uh, oh, she because of that. Someone taking her position, she's uh, stepping down. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what what she really means for Fable is they're bringing back uh, that Fable Connect game, but without the Connect parts. Oh my <laughs> Fable, God! Fable Tycoon. Fable the Journey. Oh, you know yeah, what? I'm sorry. Here's... Fable the Journey without the Connect. Here's... Use your controller. Here's now. the thing. The... Those three uh, former Kinect games came out today, and I actually see people buying it, and um, and I died a little bit inside when I saw that because I'm just like you know, the former Kinect games. Okay, well you know Disneyland Adventures, right? That was a Kinect game. Um, Disney it's not Rush anymore? No, those aren't Kinect games anymore. You can play them with the controller. What the fuck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They retrofitted those games, took out the Kinect controls, <laughs> added controllers. That's probably why she was so excited at Gamescom. She hated the Kinect. Yeah, well, no, she worked at a Kinect studio. She loved Kinect. Well, now we know but, why Kinect on the 360 sucks so bad. Yeah, hey, you can, you can pick up a used Kinect right now for 20 bucks at GameStop. Absolutely amazing, right, guys? I mean, come on. I mean, that's a, that's a hell of a deal. Fifteen fifteen ninety nine if you're a pro member. I know all you guys are pro members, right? No. Nope. Yeah, but I, like to go, so I, go, I go to pay off the, the, the last bit of my Xbox, and this guy literally spends 30 minutes trying to sell me this elite premium membership crap. And I'm like, I, they're all, I'm like, look, I, you see what I've bought the past like three years here? Like two things. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to become a pro member? <laughs> no, man. I don't even want to be in here right now. Why would I? Want to- <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's funny is they go, oh, even if you buy digital, you can buy the digital uh, game here. Oh yeah, I, I, tried to use, I tried to use that lo- last time because that's because the, like like a few months ago, and then like, I forgot what the hell I bought, but that was the excuse. I was all I, I bought all digital now. I don't use any physical games. So I said that yesterday, and they're like, oh, well, you can pre-order the digital games here. You get the code for it, and you still get all of the all of the pre-order bonuses. And you get to make like, a trip down to the store and see me. Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Dealer told me he's like, I, I uh, pre-ordered my my ex from GameStop, so I got to make a trip down there and walk into that friggin' store. <laughs> yeah, where they're gonna try to sell you. They're gonna go. They're gonna go. Hey, dealer. Well, I'm sure you're not gonna be known. They're as gonna dealer, hold on but... the box while he's trying <laughs> to. Hey, dealer. On they're gonna be like, yo, money sign. Uh, you like, enjoying dealer. getting your shit at midnight and not on the seventh, like all those Amazon clocks. locally. I just. I, I'm sorry. I just. I keep reenacting in my head the uh, Hellhammer exchange with the uh, GameStop employee. Basically, yeah. Hellhammer, when you go in there next, bring a like a whipped cream pie, and the next time he asks you, just <laughs> smack him right in the face with that, because you were like, you're like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? I bought two things here in 2017. Get out of yeah. my face and yeah. give me my bag. That's what well, he said, basically, well, to this poor funny? bastard. You know what's funny? Me and Hellhammer, <laughs> we went up to to the midnight launch at GameStop for the original Xbox One <laughs> launch, and the manager there was scary. She kept trying to sell us extra Xbox Live, and we're like, no, literally, I just got Xbox. She's like, you're going to need more? You, you need another controller? <laughs> are you guys, are you guys <laughs> run out? Every year, you run out. Dealer, yeah. are, dealer, are you going now? You got yours at GameStop, dealer? Yeah. So you say you it. are going at midnight, or you're not? Yeah, at midnight. Yeah, I'm going too. I mean, I, I think I'm not I'm even going, going to class the next day. I said, Fuck it. Did Damn you! Fuck it. I'm sitting here on the eggshells. I got two of these things: <laughs> one order from Amazon, one from Microsoft Store. Hey. Sitting there waiting for these things, like some kind of confirmation. <laughs> Away, come on! Why well, I'm crap? I don't know why you didn't get it. I know GameStop's a bit of a ways from you, but no, it's, they were they were out. I called oh. down there. I was doing BGST during the thing. Right. Uh, yeah, they I'll, were. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you look at mine when I get home. And fuck like, you, Hellhammer! You can look at it. Hellhammer's gonna be playing the fuck out of it and crap gamer. Like, yeah. Can I unbox it? <laughs> can I <laughs> can sniff it? Can, can I put the brush? batteries in it? <laughs> Think about that. They've been doing this pre-order. Let for me put the first chip inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, they've been doing these pre-orders for how long? Almost two months, and they're freaking selling out everywhere. And now we're not even sure if uh, 
people like who ordered from Walmart or Amazon are going to get theirs on the same day? Like, how's that all shaken out? Yeah. I don't know. The X has been hot. But at the yeah. rate time's been flying, it's going to be here before you know it. So for those right. that have to wait, guys, just hang in there. It'll be here in a fucking flash. It's yeah. true. It is. Like, like okay, so in case you guys didn't know, Amazon was having problems with, uh, with their pre-orders, <clears throat> right? And what happened was this. This is what I found out. The people that made the first wave pre-orders, they got mixed up, and they gave priority to second and third wave. So that's oh, basically what happened. Jesus. So they're going through right now <laughs> trying to correct all of this. Otherwise, the, the per people that made their first wave pre-orders aren't going to get their shit until well, mid to late November or maybe even December. You know what's I, fucked up? I, I, I swore off Amazon after, after they fucked me over on that Sonic game. Uh, pre-order and shit. Yeah. So I, I'm done with pre-order and stuff on Amazon. I'll still shop there, but I won't pre-order shit a year in advance so that just to get it later than you got it. Pre-ordered it fucking a day before. I pre-ordered it. Yeah, I pre-ordered uh, that Sonic Mania Collector's Edition the day before it released, and hell, I'm a pre-ordered it the second it went up live. Right. I got mine like the next day. And Hellhammer didn't get his till like a week later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was literally a year pre-order. That's kind of a similar thing that's happened with the X, though. I know people yeah. that don't even have the money to pay for the fucking thing yet. They pre they pre-order it. They they're like, I don't even know if I can come up with the money in time. They get the email that says November seventh. You got a bunch of hardcore motherfuckers wearing green tattoos and shit. <laughs> There's they get delayed till yeah. December fifteenth. They had it paid off last year. You know, so it's it's kind of the yeah. same thing happening there. Sometimes the hardcore you get fucked. You know. Jeez. Yeah, it's true. Like the hardcore, uh, and Microsoft says, "Hey, there could be delays and stuff like that." So hopefully, Amazon gets that stuff straightened out. I have the Amazon one. That's the Scorpio edition is one that we're giving away on MC Morning. So the only thing, that... the only thing I know is, is that the GameStop because I know somebody who works at that one. Uh, that that Sony fanboy actually is that they already <laughs> have they already have their Scorpio editions in the back room. Yeah. So, oh, that's what people were should. telling me. They got to see their Scorpio editions today. Like people were like, "Hey, crap! I went down and paid off my ex." Although Mooch was like, "I can't do it yet," but uh, and I'm like, "Hell, I'm no, paid off." It's not. It's not that. It's not paying it off. Paying it off is not the problem. But, but I don't know if every GameStop does it. But the one where I am, they they have you come. They do it for every game release. Every con it's not just console. It's game release. Anything. I did it for Super Mario. I went. You go down at like uh, nine o'clock. You pay. You can pay your balance off, or if you already paid it off, you still get a number. You show them your card, or you give them your receipt, and then you get a group number. And they do they do ten groups in each one. So if you're group one, there's ten people. Then at midnight, when it launches, whether it be the game or the console, they go group one, come in, and you're in and out because you have your receipt in your group one. They literally hand you a box and out the door. There's no transaction. There's no buying it. It's so even if you're group seven, you're fast. I mean, it's just, yeah, there's sixty nine people in front of you. But they're just walking in, grabbing the box, and leaving. There's no transaction. There's no. Can I get a? No, get the fuck out. It's midnight. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's just like, so that's why I'm like, that's why I said the crap. I'm like, well, we're doing our show six to eight. I'm like, I want to make sure I don't miss that because otherwise I'm gonna be like group ten. It's not that I can't get it. But I'm like sitting there. there line. Yeah. yeah. I saw something a little bit different. They're uh, they're doing their tickets based off the order that people pre-ordered them at because they only have fourteen coming in. So I'm number one, so I can literally just walk in there at any point, <laughs> and I'll be first in line. Yeah, I think, I think I was number four or five out of the 12 in our group. But don't forget, though, it's not just Project Scorpio launching that night. There's others. Oh, yeah. yeah so it's not, honest, so it's, not, it's, it's not about, like, being number one in the Project Scorpio number four. Like, there's everybody else that's going to be there, too. So I want to get there, so I'm group one. I want to get in, get the fuck out of there. I don't feel like high five at everybody. Games are coming out on the seventh. Uh, Super um, Lucky's Tale. Lucky's Tale, yeah. Is, Is when's, when's Call of Duty coming out? Third. November third. Friday. Yeah, it comes oh, out Friday. Really? Yeah, that's yeah. the one. You know, that's something we could talk about. I, I actually did a poll and I was talking to people on Twitter about it yesterday. I think that's the game that I'm gonna not wait for the X because it's just Call of Duty. Um, not that it won't look better on the X. It's gonna look great. But, I mean, that's a game, like, all weekend you can play multiplayer and just jam out. There's going to be a ton of people on. Yeah, but Why I want to play the uh, the single player, too. Yeah, wait, wait for that one. Yeah, wait for the single player for that. Yeah. Yeah. I might, I might I know, do that. Game is pretty know. rough in the beta. I know the betas are kind of indicative of the final product these days. Apparently, like, those two big patches already, like, before the uh, game's even launched, because some people already get already have the game. And so there's, like, these, these patches or whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You know what? I would like your guys' opinion on this because I I talked about it already a lot. But the people that got Xbox One X uh, review units, right? Uh, Microsoft was really weird about this. 
a lot of people that didn't like, and I understand some of that, right? A lot of these influencers have a lot of people that are subscribed to them. So you want to maybe win them over, right? I get that. And I did find out that some people that I respect a lot did get them too. So good. It was never a thing. I never put in for one, right? Like a lot of people don't know how this stuff works. If you're, uh, if you do reviews or whatever, have a certain, uh, you, you can request review codes or hardware code or reviews or whatever. I never did that. I've never been in contact with Microsoft PR for any of this stuff. So it wasn't a me thing where people thought I was jealous or, or upset because I didn't get one. I never asked for one. Uh, I've never had any kind of real communication with Microsoft PR ever. So I already had some pre-ordered. I had two. So I didn't, it wasn't something like that. But the fact that I saw people that helped hate and bury the Xbox since 2013, free Xbox One X, like 20 games, 4K Blu-ray. $1,000 worth of shit. Yeah, it's like $1,000 worth of stuff. And then, you know, they just like, some of them didn't even look happy. Like they just looked like they were, uh, you know, hey, oh, I guess I better, oh, I guess I better they, unbox they went, this. They went through the motions so that they could, so that they could hold up their end of the contract, basically. Did you guys see the giant bomb unboxing? Yeah. Did you watch that? Did you, I hope you didn't watch it with a full stomach. You probably got sick. Well, it was the uh, same thing with the GameStop when the one guy was mocking Larry Herb. He's like, oh, I'm Xbox Major Nelson. Uh, you know what I mean? Like kind of yeah. mocking him well, or whatever. I mean, they wouldn't stop talking on giant bomb. They would not stop bringing up the fact that that the, the console was heavy. And and, and you had I Justine. I Justine. <laughs> I just did an unboxing, and she's like, it's a little... She was talking to herself, you know, she talks to herself when she's doing the thing. She's like, it's a little heavier than the S, but she goes, not bad. Here's a girl that weighs... She's like, like 90 pounds. 90 pounds? <laughs> who gives and then, got, then, you got Jeff Gertz, then you got Jeff Gertzman, who looks like he hasn't showered in months. <laughs> and, he, and he's like, he's like, I can't even... He's like, this is heavy as hell, isn't it? And he has somebody come from behind the camera, and the guy's like, oh, my God, this is heavy. <laughs> Stop lifting like Cheetos! Start, start, start lifting lift some weights. Yeah. You sound like a fool. Like they were making fun of the weight the whole time, the whole time. And then they said, literally, if I have to say, because they brought out the Xbox One Fat, they put the S mm -hmm. and they put the oh X. And then they're like, "How come the X doesn't have a stand, Jim? Jim, how come we, we don't have the Scorpio edition? Said, I don't know why it should come in the box." And then the guy, like, he tapped my shoulder. He's like, "I think it only comes in the Scorpio edition, but you can buy it separately." And he's like, bah, bah. "What? What the <laughs> hell? I want to stand up and hold her. What the hell?" And then he's like. <laughs> And then he goes, well, to be honest with you guys, listen, you know, I really would have wished that Microsoft kept the S model because the S model looks better than the X. And oh, like, my what God. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Yeah. I mean, you can see. That's why I'm saying to anybody in the chat, it's not about fanboy and this and that. It's yeah. like, this is a great looking console that's totally powerful, has everything that everybody's been asking for for years. And, <laughs> and here you go. You got these assholes like Giant Bomb. This is heavy as hell, Jim. Jim. <laughs> Pick up the other ring. Hey, it, hey, used be, Gunny, it used to be the, 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 the weight of a product was kind of indicative of its quality. You know, Absolutely. That, it, yeah, to the yeah. point where cheap Chinese manufacturers would actually put in pointless copper or certain metals to weigh their power supplies down so they would think they're high quality. So oh, the yeah. weight has nothing to that, do with that's anything. A, that's a, that's a good there. point there, actually, right? Because He's right. A, lot of this, a lot of the stuff that you, if, you're, if you're in the PC build or anything – a lot of uh, recommendations for power supplies is literally the weight of the power supply itself. And did you watch like, the uh, when they took the thing apart? Like every square inch of that console is packed with stuff that is the console. Yeah. And in the mm -hmm. chat, Gunny FPS made a funny joke. He thought he said that maybe Gers Gershman yeah. was talking about his ex girlfriend. My ex, this ex is heavy. <laughs> I don't. I don't get what the deal is That's with your weight. For a for a for like a home console, anyways, right? It's not a portable system. It's not something maybe they maybe they play with it on their lap, Hillhammer. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like, idiot! Like, like it's not like a like it's not like it's an iPhone or a, or, a, or a Galaxy, and it's like oh, this is a ten pound phone. I'm carrying oh it around. God, it's got a big ass heat sink, a 245 watt power yeah. supply. It's got a centrifugal. You know, fan. what do you expect? Yeah, you know, know how heavy my fucking computer is. I mean, the thing must weigh at least 60 pounds. I'll tell you what, for six teraflops, when I had that six teraflops PC, it was definitely a, a lot lighter than that PC. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the thing. And, and everybody looks like, and not everybody, because there's genuinely people that got an Xbox One X to review, and I'm totally on board with that. Uh, what, Alan, you know him? Uh, Alan Walsh, yeah. Yeah, he got one. 
Uh, there's other people that got them uh, that, that totally deserve it. People that didn't want me to say anything also got them, uh, and they didn't want to start shit, so they were like, hey, don't let anybody know. And I was like, all right, that's fine. You know, and then there's some people who was like, uh, you know, got it, and you just kind of scratch your head. One person I was happy didn't get one is Angry Joe, right? <laughs> this guy did not get one. Apparently, really? he's on. Yeah, apparently he's on the uh, the block list from from Microsoft. <laughs> like he's blacklisted. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what happened was because he was apparently very rude. Uh, well, allegedly very rude to some of the employees and stuff. Um, remember when the original Xbox One stuff about pushing switch, flipping the switch, and all that stuff, right? Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. So, yeah, so apparently he was pretty rude. So I guess he's on the uh, blacklist on the PR anyway. I think he was hounding so. uh, Major Nelson back in yes. 2013. Yeah. With, uh, yeah. Well, are you sure you just can't sw- flip the switch? And he comes out in his yeah. G.I. Joe <laughs> outfit. I mean, where did you hear yeah. that he was on a blacklist from Microsoft? Um, because I'm I, pretty sure he I, would have made a 15 minute video ranting about this. Well, I mean, you don't really like the thing is, you might not know that you're on a blacklist, right? Like, they could still give him codes to review games well, or if whatever. He doesn't but, know, then I don't see how other people would. I don't think Microsoft would blacklist him. I don't think they want to. But it is weird that. he didn't get one. I don't. Yeah, I, yeah, he well, get one, it is though. a really weird because Angry Joe hasn't. He 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 hasn't really unboxed anything really. If you think about it, Angry Joe's more of a reviewer. I was kind of confused by them sending it to maybe somebody with a hundred and hundred and twenty thousand subs that might get two or three k of a video. That makes no sense to me. Yeah. You know, you you get you can't just look at how many subs they got. You got to look at how many views they're getting as well. And the, you know, you want to get the message out there. It is strategic though. Look at it how they did. Yeah. Uh, Digital Foundry, they turn their worst critic into their biggest ally, and you'll yeah. see that trend continue. They're trying yeah. to do the same thing with these YouTubers, and because they've sent yeah. all these X's out, it's free advertisement. That's all this is. And no, some of these YouTubers know that. That's why they're upset. That's why they're kind of like, yeah, they're using the, this free advertising, mm-hmm. you know? And I think I think even some of the people that crap makes a point to, to, to call out in certain instances, I see his point. The thing about it is this. They had to do it anyways, but crap's point that holds a lot of water is like we'll pick on boogie for a second i mean boogie as soon as as soon as the 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 clout and all the greatness for the next two weeks three weeks goes by he's gonna go back to his normal ways where he's playing on playstation and 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 making cracks on xbox so i think he's on xbox now on the s He's actually an Xbox guy. He just used it to grow the hate early on. He's a oh, fuck yeah. face. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I, was yeah. saying, I don't know. Oh, I, have, I, I don't subscribe or, he or watch said, him. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I remember but reading he, a blog he where he said Xbox, he was, he was uh, controller stuff all the time. Guy. He has like 5,000 controllers. He has a Gears of I thought he was a S. PC and PS4 guy. I mean, like, he literally well, there's yeah, way more PlayStation He has the he Xbox does. in the living room, and they end up using that. He streams on it. You know, he's an Xbox guy, and uh, like I said, he, he's, he used it to grow like a lot of these idiots, but I think that he's come around a lot in the last year. You've seen the pro-consumer moves. It's impossible not to see how pro-consumer Microsoft have been compared to Sony over the last year. Yeah. And, and Joe, Angry Joe is like the typical, you know, fake neutral who says that I play on everything, but, you know, they have this powerful PC, but they buy every single game and play every game on the PS4 <laughs> and they share every game on the PS4. Like, guess what, buddy? You're not a neutral. You're not. <laughs> Just yeah. tell it how well, it is. Well, well, you know, it's funny, Cold, is this, right? Like, you make a good point, and I saw this. Uh, I think Livewires made this point on Twitter. He's like, um, and he made a really good point. I know you saw this point, Mooch, because he said, people that drive a Ferrari aren't worried about people who are in a, what yeah. did he say, like a, a, a Honda or a, a Honda or a Kia or something. Yeah, or Kia. Oh, yeah, Kia. He says, people that drive a, a Ferrari aren't worried about people that are driving a Kia, right? And th- that, that was a really great sense. He goes, the problem is a lot of these PC guys – this hits a little too close to home because it's actually better than what they have, and they don't like that. And right. I, I you can, think you can you can continue that car analogy pretty great, right? So like, oh, yeah. there's PC. There's the PC gamers who sit there and went all out. They have you know basically the Ferrari or the Porsche, uh, a gaming PC or the Lamborghini or whatever. And then, but the major, good majority of them are the people with their with their Hondas or their Toyotas, the little tuners. It's a that's that can be quick, but it's just something that somebody you know a regular car somebody put a, a, a you know a couple thousand bucks into. I want to prepare right, you guys. Right. For, I want to prepare you for the pain that you're about to experience when the X comes out and Digital Foundry compares um, a game like Assassin's Creed Origins on the X compared to Windows PC. You're going to be looking at a thousand dollar PC running against a five hundred dollar Xbox One X, and the comment section is going to be littered 
with just but, garbage. But it, but if you dumpster dive at the right time behind <laughs> the electronics store and Unbelievable. turn around, turn around backwards four times during a full moon, hell, you can, hell build, ever, a yeah. you hell can ever, build a computer that beats it for only, for only four hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. And hell, ever, tomorrow, tomorrow, PC World is going to unveil their Xbox One X type PC. And they've already said that it is going to be around seven hundred fifty dollars with a standard Blu-ray player in it. Yeah. So and without it's, that, it's what seven hundred dollars. Yeah. If it had a four, yeah, it's a fifty. Like, it's fifty bucks for a standard Blu-ray drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. seven hundred bucks. So, I mean, you can yeah. buy a standard Blu-ray drive uh, doing like twenty-six dollars. Or right, like, do they include or keyboard and mouse or anything with this or operating? Probably system not. Or... These no, builds they're... usually are just bad. <laughs> either way, it's, it's seven hundred dollars either way. Dealers yeah. probably they tech. already uh, scoffed at the uh, Kingwin thirty-dollar uh, Windows key. They already like don't like that idea. They said they would rather buy the full version from Microsoft to get Windows operating system. Um, what else are they doing? <laughs> they're, they're doing it the right way, basically. They're doing it the right way because they're actually using an RX 580 instead of the 480 like GameSpot tried to do. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. I mean, look, like all these other people who make these builds are like, look, see, you can build it. They're like, they're like including a case that has like no ventilation from 1994. Well, here's no, no mouse keyboard, no copy of Windows. Yeah. They're also yeah, yeah, neglecting yeah, to tell you that, hey, like, this I, is a I know where you can itself. find a copy of Windows. <laughs> you know? All these yeah, build hell hammer, they are they're they're totals of, of parts that for one do exceed, and that's without a mouse and keyboard or a proper copy of Windows or a Blu-ray player, let alone a 4K Blu-ray player. Yeah. But they expect these these PCs to build themselves. They act like every first time console gamer is gonna go build their first PC, and that's just not true, or Alienware and Cyberpower and Origin PC would not be doing as well as yeah. they are. Like they well, just well, don't go build say, the first yeah. trick. Well, I will say this: it is much easier to build a PC nowadays than to say it was even, you know. Of course, 10 years most ago. people aren't going to risk it. You know, most people. Yeah, do. I mean, look. Here's the thing, right? Like, if you're messing around with that stuff, but like, let's be honest, right? Like, I've never had an issue. Like, I've never had any kind of part burnout on me, or what the hell I've done, whatever. But that that shit does happen. I mean, if you make a mistake or you do something wrong, it could cost you money, and no no place is going to warranty that anymore. And the problem with these builds that these guys send me all the time, they send me these part lists, there's, no, there's nothing that they can do to show me if it actually keeps up with an Xbox One X. But the, like a console will be picked apart and put out in front in the public. Like Digital Foundry will say what the Xbox One X is doing on this particular game. And then some dipwad on the comment section says, well, my GTX 970 could do 4K 60 on just about every game. It's like, and there's nothing to back it up. So this is the problem. So when you have PC World building this PC tomorrow, it's coming out. That's going to be around 750 bucks, and they think it's going to be really close to the X. Uh, you got to go with it because they've been doing this all summer since the Scorpio was revealed. These sites have been trying to build this, and it's funny how the people who just comment to me claim four or five hundred bucks, but all the professionals who write these video blogs and and do these things online, they've all been saying seven hundred plus. It's worth right. saying too. That but most see, you know, it's funny quoting that stuff to you. They they were using PC World as a source at that point, right? And now that PC World's doing this. What the fuck are they gonna do? This is <laughs> the what, 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 I find, what I find, it, 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 what I find ironic it. though, what, what's ironic here, guys, that you and maybe it's because I'm strictly, you know, you gotta remember Hellhammer, Colt, and Dealer or PC players. I, I don't play on PC at all. Crap doesn't either. Is that like now we're talking Xbox versus PC, and that's how it's just comical to me because that's something that I think Microsoft wanted. I think they want this conversation to exist. Yeah. But like, it's funny because the beginning of the show started with. X versus PS4 Pro, and now you guys, the PC guys on the panel right now, are like PS4 what? What? Oh, yeah. what? And, that's that's an like, and I mean, it's not even an equation anymore. So it's it's funny now. Myself personally, I think that that's a compliment to the X. If the X is going to be now discussed in the PC world, that's a compliment. However, coming from the console place, myself personally, I think Microsoft should have never done what they did when they came out and started saying. You know, this is equivalent to an $1,100 PC and blah, blah, blah. I think they should have just left. The PC is its own animal. It has sure, nothing sure, to sure. do with the Xbox One X. And if you want to sit there and do these comparisons and PC World and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure. Remember, guys, this is 2017. We've got news channels that are reporting news 24-7, 365 days on 17 to 18 different channels. And that's the same thing with gaming media, sports, politics, everything. Yeah. So there's so much nonsense out there. they got to fill up the time. But realistically, the Xbox One X is in a console discussion. 
Yes. And to have this in a PC discussion is ridiculous. It's mm -hmm. absolutely Moot. ridiculous. You know why? And people hate it when I say this, but it's so friggin' true. The reason why PC enters into the conversation is because they're freaking threatened. I've seen it so many times. Well, yeah. They're so threatened that they, you know, let's just say somebody spent 700 or 800 bucks on their PC and they find out that they're playing their games at 1080p 60. They find mm -hmm. out that some of these games on the X will run 4K 60, a lot of them 4K 30. But the, you know, when you compare those visuals, they finally have a rival. This is what they wanted because they said, right. we want consoles to quit being holding back gaming. We want them to quit being ugly, crappy 10 year old gaming yep. PCs. The X is finally something that is right up there with a mid-level or a high level PC and they can't stand it. Now there are PC gamers out there. They're just fine with it and they're enjoying their platform. They're like, if you want to play console, go ahead. I've got cheaper games. I've got more games. I don't have to pay for online. But if, don't tell me, a guy who has over 200 games on the Xbox, that I have no reason to buy and it's a waste of money to buy the X. I want the games that I've been playing, that I enjoy, that I bought. Even all the way back to the 360 days, I want them better and I want them on a new piece of hardware that does more. Mm -hmm. Right. And, that, and that's I, I would also say, too, I mean, I think there's a big difference between having a good PC uh, and knowing about PC and being a PC gamer, because I'm not really a PC gamer. Like I said before, I'm on Xbox 99% of the time, but the only reason that we compare it to the PC, and that's kind of why I got into it, to learn about it, is because the Pro is doing things... Uh, the, the X is doing things that no other console is doing, and that's why the natural... Right. Uh, comparison to PC comes into play with the mm -hmm. extra RAM and things like mm -hmm. that. And in regards to real PC gamers, like 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 Jay's Two Cents or even Linus Tech Tips, a lot of these guys, they're not going to scoff at a lot of this stuff. They might play around occasionally, but they understand why consoles are consoles and what they're for, and they admit they've done it just recently right. that consoles are more convenient. They do have their ups. Every platform does, uh, and that's why they compare them to PC because the visual the visual comparison is there now. You know. Well, yeah, I mean, look, Linus Tech Tips even did a, they even did the breakdown for the the hardware disassembly for the One X. I mean, the interesting thing is, though, whenever they do the comparisons with PC, it's always some souped-up PC that the majority of PC gamers don't even have. <laughs> I got, I got I mean? two 1080 Ti's. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know. So, so it always seems a little bit unfair to me, but I think Xbox One X is going to hold its own. You know, I just, like, got sick to my stomach because I'm seeing uh, Twitter and Albert Pinello is like, my first time meeting Game Over Greggy. And I was just going to say this. He did the kind of funny thing. And then Larry Herb goes, great to hear. Hey, game over, Greggy. When I, can I come on the show? Hey, that's just what I want to go. Go on the show. And, yeah. Go on the and, show and, and get – what's Xbox funny is if you look at a tweet yeah. from Albert Pinello, you can see Albert Pinello was actually forced to tweet that. And Albert Pinello is being held captive right now <laughs> where he can only drink lattes and wear cardigans for the next 12 weeks. Listen, <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. Look, that, that, that's, that, that's the part of Microsoft where they have to do their PR thing. And if me, if anybody on this panel was working for Microsoft, we'd probably be in line at the Game Over Greggy. The, the, I, I like how that's a studio. It's actually an apartment they turned into a studio. And, you know, it is what it is. But, like, the, you know, when you have Larry Herb being like, I can't wait to get on there. Can I get on there next? Stop it, Larry. Stop it. <laughs> They're just trying to turn. Because Greg Miller is a, a Sony fanboy. Everyone knows that. Beyond oh, belief. The things he said, is, it's, it's beyond. And they're just trying to, they're trying to turn their biggest critics into – they're out. Not going to happen there. Somebody no. just brought up Andrea because Renee. You can't argue with some of those visuals. Somebody well, in the chat just the brought up with... Andrea Renee. Andrea Renee, she, this is the thing, right? A lot of people go, she's an Xbox guy. She, she's not really. She's not she's at all. Married. She's, she's married to a higher up at PlayStation. Right. But she's worked for, uh, yeah, she's she, done pr promotional stuff for, for games or for Xbox. Yeah, and she's she switching all of her games over to Xbox now. What do you Yeah, she, she didn't say that. She said she, said she, she is said buying, things, purposely crap. buying. Yeah, she's purposely buying uh, her multi-plats on Xbox so she can play them on the X. Mm -hmm. And also, she she does question Sony, too. She goes, why is all Sony... She, she was talking about the game show, Paris Game Show. She goes, why is all of Sony's games not have release dates for years? You know what I mean? Yeah, she's she like, did. why? She, she was a little bit truthful on that. She was yeah. calling them out on the, on the dates. And years ago, she actually responded to me when I point this out. Like, in 2014 at E3, Microsoft did all games, games, games that year at E3. Sony started talking about TV and shit, and afterwards she's like, 
didn't everybody give Microsoft shit for talking about TV? And nobody's talking to giving Sony any shit for talking about TV for 25 minutes. I've not seen her really do anything, um, you know, against Xbox. I've seen her do what millions she's of other people do. Well, it's not, it's she, not, she just went to where the games were running and looking slightly better for a few Well, months. yes and no, dealer. And I can send you the video. It was just three weeks ago. She was, she's, uh, she's part of the Game Over Greggy show now. And uh, she was sitting there saying how she doesn't like the UI. It's very confusing oh, yeah. on the Xbox. She's just an idiot. I mean, double. that's a little different, you know? Uh, she also doesn't. She also is very, very much more of a fan of the DualShock 4. She just can't really get used to the Xbox One controller. So that's why when she does these little praises for Xbox, like, now I'm switching over. Like, all of a sudden, I see all her as a... related, though. Well, she's so a willow tree. She's, just, she's, well, she's switching over from the PlayStation UI. That stuff will come to her in time. I've seen it happen to friends of mine. Right. But, to Xbox, you but, know? Her, but her and Greg were doing an hour show where they bashed the Xbox UI. It, it was a little bit more of an, a personal attack. It was an attack on the Xbox. And, I mean, my whole thing is that, like, what she's doing now, if you see her switching over, is she's blowing with the wind. And when the wind blows, then she's going to go that way because that's where the money is. And, you know, right now you're getting, you do Xbox One X on anything, Digital Foundry, Game Over Greggy, crap, it doesn't matter. You, you get hits, <laughs> and, and that's what it is. And so now everybody's going to the X side, right? And we've been sitting here saying, uh, we, we've actually, we've been, we've been sitting here. We've been sitting in the front row seat for three years. And, yeah. um, you, know, the, you know, so like the whole point is, uh, these guys, when they, now when people are like, oh, now I'm coming around, I'm like, well, now you can't come around because you've been absolutely <laughs> a pain in the ass for three years. You're locked so, out. You're locked yeah, out. You're, you're, hey, well, did you out. see that your, your boy Vince Ampella was like, I was told. Oh, he's he coming goes, around. Yeah, he goes, yeah. I was told to wait for the uh, the Xbox One X to play Assassin's Creed Origins. So, Gotta love that he, Vince Ampella. Because devs yeah, really you, do want their games to look as good as they can look. They don't care yeah. how many are sold on the freaking well, I, I didn't think it was getting any support. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's not getting it. Plus, plus they did again. Like Microsoft is doing that great developer interview stuff, and they interviewed the guy from Titanfall Two. That's getting uh, very good uh, support as well. Like above 4K at times, but it's gonna. You know what I mean? So, so yeah. that's. I, I think that's there's good. A, like, there's something here is uh, crap from WCCF Tech. They're saying players unknown uh, battleground won't use Sea of Thieves water technology now, so they're backing out on that. Hmm. So I don't know if that holds water or not. No pun intended. Also has four oh, oh, transactions. So you know, <laughs> is there going to be ship battles in PUBG? <laughs> I, well, no. Well, like they, that that's a good water point, Cole. It was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? But right? there is. There's not a lot of water in the <laughs> game. You watch the game. It's <laughs> rare. like we have the water technology, but I mean, you got the, the ships come with it, so you just got to make do. <laughs> <laughs> the ship, yeah, ships are in it. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know why that's out, but anyways, maybe it's because, you know, with the timing and, and the way they want to release, it just didn't work. Yeah, they want to get it out. And they want to get it out. Almost a month, so. Oh, here goes. So as it turns out, it won't be the case um, that uh, he hasn't been precise on the matter. It would be too hard to implement Rare's tech in the game without having to make significant changes on the game's core right. code. Uh, no, we're not. I need to clarify this right now. I might not have been as precise as I should have been in the interview. A lot of people have misunderstood what I said. Yes, Rare offered us to use their water tech, but we quickly realized that we wouldn't be possible to use it in PUBG without having to do significant changes to the core code, changes that would have taken a very long time to do or maybe even impossible. By all means, it's incredible fun to share knowledge and experiences with other developers, but there are just a few technologies we can't use in our game. What engine does Where PUBG run on? Uh, I don't Because Rare's know. water tech, that's Unreal Engine 4. Right. And PUBG yeah. doesn't look yeah. like it's running on anything near on Real Engine 4. Uh, I don't think be. so. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to look it up. Unreal 4. Unreal Engine. 4. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, they managed to make that uh, look pretty, almost like uh, Friday the 13th, right? Let's try to make this new Ooh, engine look as shitty man. as possible. We're up there with Tekken 7. <laughs> Let's take it to the next level. <laughs> oh, Tekken 7 looks shitty. Huh? I don't horrible. know that one. And Injustice I'm, 2 I'm comes out on Unreal Engine 3 and just crushes it somehow. <laughs> K, K Mega's a big Tekken fan. You can't be this in Tekken. He'd be like, <laughs> Tekken was trash, man. Injustice is much better. I, I What's the frame rate on Pope? Jesus. Um, they're aiming for 60. The mm -hmm. ago, they said they had it up to like. Yeah, I was just telling Fonz last night. He's like, I don't believe that. Uh, they said this months ago uh, that their team had it running over 40 frames per second on 100 yeah, million flavors. Like, right. Ago. Yeah. 45 frames per second or something yeah. like that over a couple months ago. So, yeah, they're aiming for 60. 
That makes sense. You, you, I, I can imagine the resolution being quite low on the Xbox One S version, but I mean, at the end of the day, I can't well, don't name be afraid a, to give those I people different frame rates. You know, yeah. I can't name a, a multiplayer shooter that runs at thirty. Except oh, I can. Destiny Two. That's Booch's baby right there. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Dude, no, yeah, bring it on. Get away with trash because nobody gives them the shit they deserve. That's why well, they no. were able to get away with that. So. Yeah. So, well, Activision get away what they want to. You know what I mean? Fucking Microsoft. Pieces of shit. The worst company in the industry. <laughs> Micro- Microsoft, though. No, Microsoft can't get away with it. In fact, um, you know, Activision apparently filing more patents for microtransactions. Did you guys see that one thing that they filed a patent for this years ago? And a lot of people were talking about it. Basically, what happened was they're uh, in their games. They never implemented this, but this is basically how it worked. If you were in, say, a Call of Duty lobby against people better than you and then try to sell you microtransactions that would give you an advantage to help beat the people that are better than you, right? Like, So <laughs> they would intentionally match you against better people. Man, you would be spending a fortune on that. Yeah. And there I are those that would defend that and say, well, that's just the way things are. This literally breaks the balance of the game intentionally so you are more enticed to buy a better weapon to compete with people that are higher level than you. This is yeah. fucking game break. Yeah, it is. And there that, is no angry rant on that, is there? There is a scum. No, no, no. There's no angry rants on that. Of course not. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll do an angry rant on UWP. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's 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 be angry. We're 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 angry over that. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh. So I was feeling pretty shitty about the Xbox games with gold this month, and then I saw the PlayStation Plus games, and I feel much hey, better. Jack Video so, Turbo is a fun game. You're a, you're a Trackmania fan. Hell, I've been pushing this game for a long time, but Don't yeah. So anyway, that. yeah. Uh, yeah, I really, I really like the good Gold. news is that it looks like they're giving away PSVR games as extras. So until dawn, and I bought Russia I Blood. bought Russian Blood used. Uh, so know, I'm well, I'm gonna too. download it for digital. It's better than putting the disc in. I will so too because I have it physical as well. So you get. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you get Bound. It's a platformer. Woo. And you also get that Worms game, which is a game that Microsoft gave away like years ago. Yeah. When we all looks like, looks like another it. month of not booting my PlayStation up. Yeah, I mean. Are you talking <laughs> Earthworm, Jim? No, it's no Worms. Uh, it's a I remember. Worms Battlegrounds. Worms Battlegrounds, yeah. Yeah, Ugh. yeah so I yeah, mean, they're, <laughs> they were kicking Microsoft's ass. For a couple of months there, but now it looks well, I like said, I said this last month, and I mean, it's the same thing we said when we're talking about any trends. Like, it, it goes three months up, three months down. Yeah, like, everyone does. Like, PS Plus yeah. is kicking Microsoft's ass! And then three to months up, PlayStation I'm sucks, kinda, and people forget about it. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't uh, try to push something really big out for November yeah. to try to, like, counter out the uh, X a little bit. Well, I, they usually never, like, <laughs> November and December are usually really crappy for games with gold and PS Plus because, you know, well, you're not going to play those games anyway. Sale. Well, but there's I, I did a, games going on sale that people they will hope will buy. Yes, and I did a, uh, a count of 12 months of games with gold and PS Plus compared, and uh, I don't remember what the numbers were, but Xbox had, like, eight more AAA games than PS Plus did over the year. And, you know, it's just such a big difference there because you the 360 games you get each month are playable and downloadable on your X. And, uh, you know, it's just it's a huge difference in value. You know, they have PS3 games and Vita games that are probably not even ever getting You know what? I never download the PS3 or the Vita games, and I have both of those well, Why things. would you? I mean, yeah, exactly. how often do you turn on the PS3? Play on the PS4, you know? Ever, exactly. Yeah. But I do download. I always download the Xbox 360 ones. You know, even oh, yeah. if but just Metal, to download them and have them. I downloaded like Metal Gear Solid games today. Yeah, and Metal Gear Solid Five. That's just that's cool. They're getting you know they had some good games. They had Just Cause Three last month or the month before, and those are good games. And I already uh, didn't play that game on Xbox One and own it. <laughs> hey, one of the few games that Hellhammer actually bought. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, like Mooch knows. Yeah. Hellhammer's the best Mooch ever. Yes, oh, I buy all kinds yes. of games. Yeah, hell, I'm a yeah, what's right. Your, what's your big <laughs> contribution this year? Super Lucky's Tale. Thanks. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Oh yeah. He's <laughs> proud of it, though. He's proud of it. I'm gonna be buying that Sonic game. It's his Xbox first, crap. Oh god damn it! I know. Oh, nice. <laughs> I pay forty five a year for my Xbox Live membership. I get a key online, and uh, I'm I always get forty five bucks worth of games, no matter what comes out. Oh yeah, I, easily. 
I mean, it's stupid that we pay for online, of course, but man, every year, like, I'm glad I get some of those games. And it's usually uh, one or two every other month that I rack up that uh, that I play and I enjoy them. I'm glad I get them. You know, we got Sunset Overdrive. I, I played through that yeah. one when it came out and sold I it when I was day done. One. Yeah. Yeah, I had it, but I didn't. I bought it on disc and sold it when I was done with it. And I always wanted to get it back. And, and it's one of those games they gave us. It's, I, so it's fine with me. Right. Yeah, you guys think that the reason why they're giving us shitty games now is because all the good games are coming out? Yeah. Yeah. Put it in the chat. Well, I think it, so, too. It's a consumer season. You know, yeah, why yeah. give people games that they might end up buying anyway on yeah. sale during Black Now, Black. now let, me, let me ask you guys this, because Noof always brings up this point, and I'd like, Colt, your, your opinion on this, too. Uh, Noof said that since Microsoft started Xbox Games Pass, a lot of the good games end up in there, and then we've gotten pretty bad games with games with gold. Do you think that's agree. a coincidence? You don't. You don't think so? I don't agree. I think the games have been just about the same as they've always been. I bet my satisfaction hasn't changed. Yeah, I mean, well, the thing I mean, is, look, it's, it's like, like they, they used to give us like some at least a triple A on Xbox One, and now since Games Pass started, we've gotten like the the, the smaller arcade games and indie games and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then they put they put Metal Gear Solid Five in the um, in Games Pass. Sony gave it away with PlayStation Plus. So I, I mean. I think they oh. look at them totally separate. In my opinion, I think they probably two different groups are working on Game Pass. The other group's working on games with yeah. gold. You know, it's an acquiring thing. Like when they need to give out four games for the month, they're shopping around to these developers and publishers and saying, "Hey, we're going to strike you a deal." I'm not quite sure how it works, but I think Microsoft gives them like a chunk of change. Like, "Hey, we're going to give you this if you can make your game available for games with gold." And they kind of they kind of have to work a deal in with them that it'll make up some of the money they'll lose on future digital sales of that game so most of not sure dead anyway at that point you know it, that is worth looking into though yeah what exactly yeah. do they do how does that deal work you know yeah oh hey shout out to noof looks like where he's at he's at a hockey game penguins versus oilers nice uh, yeah so that's what uh that's what that's why he's not here today i didn't even know so that's interesting <laughs> um he, he, yeah. he's increasing his canadian level that's uh yeah. he is that, that's good on new <laughs> for you. it is so my sony did i want to hop back on this real quick and get your guys' thoughts 67.5 million ps4 units shipped uh, yeah they flipped back and forth uh oh, between geez. shipped and sold now it's 67.5 million shipped and they predict 87 million or nearly 87 million by March 31st of next year. Woo. That's a lot of consoles. Right. I think, a, I think they're wrong. But let me ask you this question: If we're at 67.5, how long ago was it when we were at 63? Wasn't that almost a year ago? That was last quarter. Apparently, they shipped more. Summer time. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that was a year. Uh, that was last quarter that they did 63. Yeah. I thought that was yeah. a few quarters. Well, ago. I mean, they had a price drop. What's the PS4 250 now? Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, well, I, I think it's permanently. Two ninety nine, I think, permanently. Yeah. Yeah. That now, now for Black Friday, uh, the PS4 Slim is going to be one ninety nine, and Xbox One S is going to be one seventy nine at places. That's like an incredible deal, right there. You can't oh, even yeah. get like a four K Blu Ray player for that price. Like, damn. You know, and crazy. Sell it as a as a four way Blu Ray player. Yeah. How much is a is a shelf Entertainment Center Blu Ray player four K? Like they're two fifty, two ninety nine now. I it went like way that. down. I'm going to check yeah. real quick while you guys are... Yeah. You know I, 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 I know that they're 250 or so because Hellhammer was trying to troll me. No, I, I've seen so I've legitimately seen some for like 150 160 yeah, I think I have. Holy I, crap. Yeah, I mean, they're still 250 but, but it's not. But they're not like... That's not like the everyday price. Like, I, those are sale prices, right? Like, it's not like you go out to the store any day of the week and get it for yeah. that price. Either well, way, I mean, the yes is a great fucking deal. It is, because you know what? I, I hooked mine up. Like I said, I've been – this is the first time I played on a 55-inch screen, and it's like night and day. I've been watch, I've been buying 4K Blu-rays. I've been – you know what I mean? It's it, it, it's a night and day difference with the HDR and stuff. You watch, like, Pirates of the Caribbean on there or whatever. It looks great, man. Like, it, it's good. Like, anybody that kind of damage controls that, oh, you don't even need that. You can just stream stuff. Well, my internet says hello, you know? <laughs> yeah, they're, one, they're 150 to 200 bucks, it looks like. Yeah. yeah for a I mean, and so you could, you, and you could get one that does Xbox. That you can get an actual Xbox that does all that stuff for one seventy nine this Black Friday. Right. That's right? A, that's a great like, price. Be, yeah, it is. And you can even get TVs for a couple hundred bucks this Black Friday. Like everybody should be going out there and getting this stuff. Do you guys like? And Samsung's believe? gonna have bundles too. Samsung's yeah. gonna bundle TVs with the Xbox One yeah. Xs. Yep. Do you guys believe the sixty seven point five million, or do you guys and do you guys think the eighty seven million predictions high? I think what? that the 87 million by March of next year is incredibly high. Yeah, 87 is a bit out of reach. Um, yeah. Yeah, March seems very. Uh, I mean, that's only a few I months mean, away. 
That's that they would have to, they'd have to be selling a couple million consoles a month. Well, I mean, I, they yeah. sold quite a few last year during the I, uh, holiday. Yeah, I, think the they holiday sold, so. I think they sold almost five million PS4s, uh, PS4 Pros, and uh, the Slims and the Pros. I think last holiday, yeah. didn't they, Dealer? I think so, man. <laughs> Dealer, dealer, dealer's oh, about to tap out. Uh, I got one more. I got, cool. I got Some more oranges then. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got one more thing. You asked uh, me a question in the middle of a yard. <laughs> uh, Battlefield 1, oddly, um, they declined to say that it's going to get any kind of specific Xbox One X enhancements. I've uh, which heard I them, was the fucking cool. Patrick Sutherland himself say that it was looking amazing on the Xbox One X. Yeah, but, I mean, they should at least do what they did with the Pro, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if that got an update, knows the number that would be like sixteen hundred, eighteen hundred p. No, it's just... like fifteen hundred p on average on the pro with very few other additions. So, yeah, so it put the... so I, I would ass... go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was just gonna say I, I would assume that the X would do much better than that, being a Direct X twelve game, and you know what I mean, like yeah. that, that significantly helps out the CPU and, and stuff like that. So I, I would assume that it's gonna run better anyway. I mean, it's going to run better on the X. You're actually going to see 60 frames per second in the multiplayer if you play the same version on the X. Keep that in mind. So you are getting a benefit. Those ridiculously long load times on the S version are going to be significantly shorter. So you're still getting a better experience. But, yeah, it needs to. And I think that game actually uses dynamic resolution already. So yeah. that game should scale well above 720p that it generally runs at in multiplayer now. Yeah, uh, on the X, even without a patch, that's a benefit to that type of stuff. But they should, uh, they should patch it more. Yeah, well, well, so, so, like, I did a video about that when I heard it because Windows Central did an article on it as well. Um, that's what I, I mentioned. I said it's a dynamic resolution, so, but it's capped at 1080. So, like, it would probably just run 1080. It still looks a lot better. I mean, you're talking yeah. over double yeah. the pixel density there on the X, plus an actual 60 frames. The X yeah. will destroy that game at 1080p 60, as long as it's not a CPU issue. Yeah. And the load times are so long on the Xbox right now, uh, the X is going to do a lot for that. Right. Yep, exactly. Um, and with that, man, we are almost, hey, one, one like away from 500 likes on the night. That would be awesome if we could get 500. Come on. Uh, yeah, come on, one of you bastards. Uh, just hit the like button. Somebody wrote that, that like button. <laughs> Crap, someone said hit that like button. There's ah, helmets for everybody. He said come helmets on, you bastard. Helmets for everyone, yes. Uh, yeah, so, so yeah, it's uh, it's been a hell of a night, man. We, 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 we talked for two hours. Uh, it's exciting. Uh, lots of good stuff. Now we're going to do some outros. Uh, Mooch, what do you got going on? Friday's going to be a big day. We got um, got a special guest coming on that has an Xbox One review unit and can talk about it on the embargo. So we're going to have him on. Is he Canadian? Uh, he may be Canadian. He may not be. We'll see. Oh, I, I don't like to let any. I like, you know, a little, little surprise there, He's crap. Canadian. He might not like me. <laughs> oh, no, they, everybody on the show will like Crap Gamer. That's another okay, promise cause... I'm going to give everybody. So <laughs> 7, o'clock, 7 o'clock on my channel, Eastern Time, Crossfire. And then we've got uh, on my channel this week, MNC Mornings on Sunday. And then we've got a special MNC evenings on Monday, six to eight. A lot, lot yeah. of mooch, a lot of mooch coverage. And, and, and on Sunday show, we're doing the game raffle for Patreon. Uh, somebody's right. going to win that. So they got a game coming. And then Monday, we're giving away Assassin's Creed Origins. And we're giving away Pub Jesus in December. So That's right. Lots of, lots of good stuff. And also, Origins. crap, we're also giving away the, well, we're going to release the winner of the name sometime between Sunday and Monday, the Xbox One X. And then we got to that. Yes. You're giving away uh, your souls. You got any other giveaways? Oh, yeah. Giving away Long everything. Time ago. Long time ago. Give it away. Uh, give it away. We, give it away now. <laughs> and we got Dealer Gaming. What's going on, Dealer? What do you got oh, going man. on, bro? Uh, we did RDX last night. Great show. We had D Batch on. We had New Fun. We talked about a lot of cool stuff. Was he goat herding? <laughs> yeah, the goat, he was herding goats in the background. <laughs> he was up in the background. <laughs> So, yeah, go over to the channel, Dealer Gaming on YouTube. Uh, the video I did today, unfortunately, uh, I was asked to remove it by Microsoft. So I did. I complied, and, and I knew that during the recording. I actually mentioned that in the video. Hey, share it while you could because it's going to get taken down. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. So I'm going to have another video out probably tomorrow. Uh, and if you want to follow me on Twitter, doing giveaways there uh, quite frequently, it's at dealer underscore gaming. Awesome. Uh, make sure you guys go sub him and stuff. He does good content. Uh, Hellheimer, what do you got going on? No content, I know that. Yeah, no content, <laughs> but uh, I will be back on here next week, and that'll hopefully be after I've played on quite a few hours of game time on the X. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, uh, people can find me on Twitter at XX Hellhammer or on Xbox Live, XX Space Hellhammer. Yeah, awesome stuff. And Colt Eastwood, what's going on, bro? 
I had fun tonight. This was good. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. We're, we're, it's we're so close, and the closer we get, the the worse trolls are going to be about this X. But <laughs> I, I see him hiding, bro. I, I ain't even heard from him all day. Uh, you know, four, five, five or six months ago, um, you know, dealer and and next gen and those guys, they asked me if I was going to get an X, and I was like, uh, no, why would I? And this thing has won me over as I've reported on it on my channel. I've learned so much. It's it's an awesome console. It's amazing what it's doing, and uh, it's only going to get better. I can't wait. Yeah, I, I'm so, I'm excited. Yeah. I, I can't I can't I can't state that enough, man. I've I've never been more excited for something. You know um, who's more excited, crap? Who? Hell, Hellhammer. He gets oh, I know hurt. Hellhammer. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and with that, we'll catch you guys now. <laughs> we'll catch you guys next time. I know because Booch is about to send me the damn gift and stuff. Oh, it's on so. the way. Yeah, thank you guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe Thanks, to all these guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Peace. Later.